Hey, we're live. Uh, welcome to game 29 of the Root Winter Tournament. Uh, my name is Garrick. Commentating with me today, we have Bot Bot. Hello, thank you for having me. This is exciting to be on this side of it. Thank you for joining me. Uh, our commentators or bleh, competitors today are none other than Dazzy. Hello there. Rasano the Wise. What's up? Battle Rager. Good evening, everyone. And Freeman of Cole. Hey, lads. Uh, the draft has been dealt. Y'all have been told everything you need to know. Uh, you know, with, with room for questions, of course, which I feel like you'll have. So, um, good luck. Have fun. Uh, I'm here if you need me, uh, but take it away. Thank you. And there we go. Uh, I need to unmute and mute. Okay, I guess it's up to me to choose. Hey, can you hear me now, Bop Bop? I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you. <laughs> All right, I'm getting the chat we're, out we're, we're of here. Ramp up the chaos. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. You, you don't, you don't want to go too well up here to chat because they are because chatty Cathy's. Means that like no one knows what's going on. So you want to pick <laughs> something nice, simple, and classic, which isn't an option. All right, yeah, these these are going to be a talkative bunch, so we're not going to have to <laughs> commentate too much. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to get their uh, their audio lowered in my that. ear a All little right. bit, so. Worst case scenario, you can just turn all of them right, in Discord how, how down. How mounting clearing passes work? Because I know you can flip them, but I've no idea how. As, uh, as long as you have a, a piece. All right, we have mountain map. That is at one end of the covered path. You can spend a card, I believe, matching that clearing at any it, point in your It turn. can be any card. Oh, it is can it be any spend, card, thank is you. Is it spend or reveal? It's spend. spend. Right, yeah. okay. And then you take away the, the cover and you score a point. And I believe this is all. That. This is already just a wild, uh, wild. I believe so. Yeah. Mix. This it, is crazy. So yeah. This is. <laughs> so we have a double vagabond in the pool. We have Corvids. Yeah. We have moles and okay. Lord of the Hundreds. Uh, I mean, there's. Right. There's a world where Lord of the Hundreds run, runs away with this. There's a world where like, I don't know, moles run away with this. Is that this, what your note said? <laughs> This could be very strange. I, I have no yeah. clue how this could play out, really. <laughs> but we have Tinker as a pick. Pick Tinker. Uh, going for the safe Vagabond in fourth seat, basically. Put your pawn in any forest. I mean, they look this, kind of The forest on the mountain always confuse me. Like, is yeah. this a forest? Is this? No, I, can't I mean, even... nothing on the edge of the map that doesn't... Yeah. is like a forest, at least. Uh, you so can't is this on the edge of the map? Because it's connected. <laughs> See, this is what happens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll just go like somewhere that's uh, like non-controversial, I guess. So, um, you. <laughs> also, we have a first first pick of Let's a tinker. With... So I don't love that. You have so little control over how many like items uh, factions they, you have they drafting behind Only, you. Yeah, on the mountain yeah. map, they do. Yeah, I mean, uh, because there's like a path be behind that. So, I'll just go here. Yeah, so um, picking Vagabond when there's two Vagabonds in the pool is uh, just do that. <laughs> so interesting because draw three quests. Uh, we've had an interesting phenomena in the tournament so far, I think, where in a case with two Vagabonds, the one that's earlier in turn priority has fared better, uh, despite the second one, uh, the one later in turn order, getting better access to players' items. So it's... Uh, I believe so, yeah. I'm really not sure what to think of Vagabond picks at the moment. The ruins, I think the runes will be done once we... But yeah, I mean, you're right that... know if there's multiple... Having potentially three factions competing for items, uh, you know, Warlord and two Vagabonds, and now the turn order gets funky, and you probably don't want to be in the last. I don't know. It's it's a tough pick. Yeah, I mean, I think I think the crows and the moles are both automatic picks simply because of that conflict over the items. And crows could really get away with a lot. With they could. So many. Uh, you can hit done like, up red alert factions. I'm like zoom. Crows could just kind of dink around if they know how to play cleverly. Moles. Moles. <laughs> okay. Moles. Rosano moles. going for moles. Uh, probably following similar yeah, logic to what we were just talking about. Huh? They're just a pretty safe uh, pick with this sort of weird faction mix. Moles. Yeah. Oh, no. You safe, but also moles, perhaps in trouble of getting bullied if uh, Warlord is too aggressive. Yeah, but you, took, you just oh. took so long to think about that that, it, like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know what your strategies are. Like, you, you if you, like, we know, like, Rage has got his cheat uh... sheet. Have you got your mole <laughs> sheet, like, to the side of you? No. Um, 
Scrolling back in chat real quick, I think I saw Coconut Tank re-upped their sub, in which case, thank you so much, Coconut Tank. I appreciate it. Two tunnel there. I don't think I missed anything else. We're gonna go... Ooh, some wonky suits. Uh... Yeah, uh, good observation on Rosano's part. The suits right. are wonky about this? for moles, because I'm ideally you want a good location <laughs> where you can sway Bridget turn one from your setup, <laughs> and the suits are going to make that a little difficult unless you had some wonky cards in the, right. in the first place. The large yeah. There. If I take that large faction, stay out of your way, then we aren't going to come to loggerheads at all. We just need to. And my other, my least uh, favorite uh, move space. is still viable, so which is good. crows if setting up on the moles the, uh, and extorting them uh, turn the, one. I don't even yeah, know that which, could. That's my that's my uh, only <laughs> hesitation about moles in this spot. I'll just go with the complete other corner. Sounds good. That is that's a good point. That's a good point. Um, that could really mess with moles, uh, which depending on the faction mix, like the final faction mix, may or may not end up being warranted, but that could really mess with mm -hmm. moles turn one, or turn zero. I suppose Woodland Alliance the mice. No, there was a toast. Horrible player. We actually did see the Arbiter ability used once in the tournament. Uh, it was kind of a blink and you'll miss it moment. Like, I think uh, when we were commentating, we didn't even notice it happen, and we had to backtrack and realize where that point came from. It was wacky. I guess as evenly as possible is like. Oh, wait, is it five total? So you got three in one, two in the other. Two warriors in one clear moon and five warriors. I can't believe they get five warriors now. <laughs> uh, I mean, one, two, it's a bo it's a four, and they one, get five, which is um, there we go. an increase for mountain, but it's a decrease for almost every other map. So it actually works out. Interestingly for moles, and... you know? Yeah. Yeah, two and the one with the tunnel, and then would be five. nice to be in yeah, four clearings. Five, wow! But uh, all right. So <laughs> I wonder if Rosano has a mouse, fox, and rabbit card. Victory point here, <laughs> which oh. would be ideal. Right, like that's. Uh, I, I feel like he went with that corner and that setup because he had like a pretty, you know, right. let, let, standard hand, one of each. Sure yeah, but we'll see. On a map I've never played before. They oh, <laughs> <can't go laughs> Raven. Oh boy. <laughs> Freeman has never played Mountain Map, never played Warlord, but going for it. And you know what? Hey, that's worked for people in the tournament up to this point. Warlord is actually a very uh, easy faction to, to rock if you uh, just can handle some reading. Because it is a very wordy faction. But it's very strategically... I don't want to say it's linear, but it has a clear goal. You know? You just want to kill people. <laughs> Get get rats on the board and and start hitting. Yeah. Right. You fight. If something's in your way, hit it. That's what you do. <laughs> Clearing on the edge, put your warlord. I'm that's guessing that's, one. The, that's this one. Yep. So Looking at the map, warlord has a pretty decent selection of options oh, yeah. for edge clearings, but going going you know right right across opposite oh, from the moles. Already, okay. Yeah, set them aside for you. I think. The other thing that's interesting here is that with an with a, a vagabond already in play, and the moles are usually pretty tunnely, you know, they're tunnely, uh, turtly. <laughs> they actually wouldn't won't have a ton of competition just by sheer existence mm -hmm. for the for the empty clearings for their oppressed. Which, you know, I I'd hate to say that. Oh, who's this? Who is this? There and items are already out, so I think that's me. I don't know that that went into the consideration for the pick, but oh, it's, it's certainly items, interesting. Right? Yeah, I think you're you're yeah. leaning onto an important point is that the first player almost needs to go Corvids with yes. this setup uh, just to yeah. deny a press because if not, Warlord's just going to run away with Corvid things. Or Arvid. Yeah. Hmm. yeah, I think. I, don't we'll, know. I think with the number of factions that would potentially be uh, fighting for items. I think well, if decides. this if there's two vagabonds on table, there's another set of items that gets put out. That's just is, that's just feeding in, uh, into the rats, right? Yeah, like putting more items on them. No, 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 that's because that means there's more of us to do it. I, I don't even know if I want items yet. Yeah, you, you just figure, you figure it out. Just it out. <laughs> oh my god, he's sharking so hard. What this group is a bunch of characters. I mean, they were just talking so much before the start of the game. This is gonna be. Yeah. 
the most table talkiest <laughs> game <laughs> in a while. <laughs> I have actually done this, but from reading up on them, yeah, it's something like items give them action. So it's basically yeah. like. All right, go with the Corvid pick. Uh, it's okay. going to yeah. be yeah. going to be rough for Corvids. Forced. It's going to be rough for Corvids, but I think so it's going to be good for the sake of the table. Here? Because like since yeah. this. <laughs> Since yeah. the center clearing is every suit, yeah. you just like recruit there every turn, no matter what. Like it's kind of yep. silly. I I had I kind of had that in mind in case Corvids came up, but yep. uh, yeah, yeah. It so sounds like Dazzy chose Mountain uh, because he thought he might get Corvids, which I think is very smart. I think it's exactly what you need to do. Uh, Where to begin? And it is going to go a long way toward helping <laughs> offset the fact oh, that you are Corvids. At all, right? <laughs> Yeah, I'm interested to see where this setup goes. Actually, to see if he oh, okay. sets up on the mold. Shoot. Yeah, oh yeah, me too. Hmm. Just yeah, you can be anywhere. Yeah. Or if he goes for the um the could, meme strat I was talking about last night, where you put every single one of your Corvids on the Lost City. <laughs> I mean, what's he gonna do with <laughs> That's it? the not, Corvid like, ball. <laughs> yeah, without the tower there. Um, okay. Choose an online clearing. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. We're gonna go. Oh right, I need a box. Uh... Oh, I think oh, we, yeah. can, we can. Ooh, I think we can do that once we're all like back in the game and promoted, right? We can draw a box for you. Right. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just. I'm just. I have to decide which plot goes into my homeland. I guess now. Uh, there was a comment last night about the later. Corvid plots being randomized when they appear. Do we? Box is that true? I, I read that in the update notes. I cool. still forgot to check that. What I'm taking if I move. Okay. Around. Cool. What if it isn't random how it spawns and I memorized all the patterns? That would be. I mean, I'm pretty sure Battle Rager has that on his cheat sheet. So. <laughs> yeah, it's on his cheat sheet. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need to make a note of for myself to check that you after can't the game. Read it. Uh, and uh, one warrior there, and then I one mean, warrior. Because now I'm worried that I like dreamed that or something. Counting the previous step. I swear I read that in a patch note, so an update note. A fox, I place one. Duncan says it seemed true. Okay. It cool. seemed true. <laughs> <laughs> well, it seems true. That's good enough. So, I mean, reality is, is complete. <laughs> they were not paired together. All right, that's a pretty good sign, Duncan, because I think they used to be paired together. Yeah. So. Exactly. Oh, okay. So each each stack was a got it, got it. Yeah, I think it was yeah you know, organized into this columns of, like dump of each type in, this, in the middle. Could, that would be funny. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, insolent <laughs> noisemaker mountain is better for Corvids because of the lo the lost city uh, landmark. Most, it allows you to uh, get an extra recruit in two out of the three suits every time you recruit, and just that that bump to your recruiting numbers can be so important <laughs> for Corvids. And R. All right, so we're going for a very wide setup at the moment, and we're not putting our plot on moles, mm -hmm. which, you know, fair enough. You, uh, you're you not harassing them, but you're also probably going to get to keep that plot this way, at least for the time being. And yeah, I think that's it for me. So uh, I believe I click done now, correct, Gar? Oh, and the paths. Correct. Yep. Okay. Done. Yeah, now this is the part. Hands. Okay, this is the part we practice, guys. All right, get ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the funny TTS hokey pokey part. Where we pick cards and stuff. Yep. So yeah, yeah Thungan, that's a very good point. The closed paths are also a great uh, reason why the map is good for Corvids because uh, it's not that Corvids don't need cards, but they can typically afford to uh, you know, spend one of them per turn for a point. And then shuffle it up. Hmm. Dazzy setting up his cards all all the way across the table, asserting dominance, saying this is my part of the table. <laughs> like to make my meeple bigger or like recolor it or something. This is kind of oh, no, it's raining. Isn't a that part of the plan? You're just gonna blend into the terrain somewhere. <laughs> maybe flexing on the yeah, warlord isn't the best. <laughs> yeah, maybe don't approach. provoke <laughs> the warlord. <laughs> I mean, the chip on the warlord's shoulder is already big enough. Like, no, no, uh, quite give me one second. I was. Uh, Gagula, the dice will disappear, especially because yeah. um, Rosano is in the game. And Rosano and I had some altercations in last year's winter tournament where he very much wanted to roll dice, and I very much did not want mm. him to. <laughs> <laughs> 
speaking of Rosano, he was actually a finalist in last year's winter tournament, uh, beating out you, Bapat, in the semis to take that seat. I don't know yeah. if you remember that. I don't remember that. But I remember right, not being so in the finals. My cards are down. <laughs> oh, I got to put these other two back. Oh my god, come on, TTS, let's go. All right, here we go. All right, so we're shuffled. Uh, and then... Dazzy, you clicked on? No, everybody's got their three. Everyone's got a leaf now, aren't they? So... I yep. think well, I can he got hit done first. Let him hit done. I'm done, and then we leave. Uh, yep. Done. Okay. Done. We're doing it. Boom! They right, did just it. Just like we practiced. <laughs> I'm so proud just of them. Just like they practiced. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm completely lost now because that's not we, what we said in the bot corner. But, uh, we, we leave, and then we come back. <laughs> yep. All right. Now I can do my work. My so important work of deleting dice. Computer. <laughs> Reset your your uh, router. Find. Find what the largest called? rare oh, earth magnet you can and cast it slowly <laughs> over the hard drive in your computer. <laughs> <laughs> Why did Rowdy well, end up over there? What the hell? What the heck is happening with this Rowdy? I'm back, but my ping's still terrible. <laughs> Get back on there. I think it's a covering, yeah. So now do we just take our seat, I think? Yep. Sit down, and I'm guessing you just draw your cards yep. back. Yep, sit so. down and pick up your cards. Hopefully everybody sits in the spots they're supposed to be in. Just I've been to trying to keep an eye on that, but it is, um, <laughs> so far not come up. We have a mulligan. It's <laughs> just a do-over completely. <laughs> yeah, there's a bunch of, like, relationship tokens and stuff I can probably delete now. <laughs> Making a hidden zone for crows. Um, if I aim a lot Did the raise tool lose its music? Yeah, okay. Yes, uh, I removed nice. its music. Some old threats. I, I don't know who else felt that way, but oh, I was uh, with you on that. On that music being a little bit too much. Yeah. A little bit too much spice on that turkey. It was very cute, but uh, too much. Okay, okay. we have Rosano's Nicholas Cage. You got what out your mascot. I did. Can we? Recolor this, uh, maybe. Yeah, it would be appreciated if it's possible. Let's see. <clears throat> right. you you've lost sight of where like the tinker is. You've times. already lost, though. <laughs> That's <laughs> true. <laughs> like, if you're not watching his every move. Uh, let's see. Scale up. There's so much sadness for the... For the uh, okay. Uh, how the about we increase warlord? the of how many swords you Oh, got? the, the mob oh, mat. The <laughs> mob lobber. The mob lobber. <laughs> Great name. Uh, yeah, I think that's good enough because now the right. yellow is sort of standing yeah. out. I don't know. <laughs> Just the eyes. Y'all, if you want it so badly, it's in the workshop. You can get the version with music <laughs> and spawn it yourself. <laughs> okay. Um, I think... You can be banned. Desi, that's up to you. Turn. Yeah, like if you want to get banned, you can spawn it yourself. Let's, um, totally. Let's do it then. Good luck, everybody. Have fun. Good luck, have fun. Good. All right, here we go. Have fun. Okay. Are they, are they supposed to have fun? All right, so I don't remember saying that. Turn, I, will, I don't remember that. Uh, not craft anything immediately. Uh, All right, no turn one craft for Corbin's. I'll flip this extort. <laughs> Whoa! Who could have guessed it? <laughs> <laughs> really breaking the breaking the meta here. Um, so that's for one VP. Uh, resolve the flip effect. So I'll take a card from Corvids. That makes sense, right? <laughs> Just uh, resolve that real quick. I think we're good. We've got a bunch of comedians today. Well, it was fast. Uh, <laughs> All right, then we're going to recruit. So I'm going <clears throat> to. Da -da -da. Going to... Well, I'm instantly a little bit sad that the crows didn't right, a craft a card, recruit in and then box. also that they didn't just extort the moles. Like, why wouldn't you? Well, oh jeez. I mean, any specific reason you want to target me off the bat? Oh. The danger, of course, with uh, you know targeting moles is that <laughs> maybe that's not necessary because maybe you need moles uh, against warlord yeah, in this one setup. In the middle, and then one. Uh, and maybe you want to keep your plot right, because the there's Corvid a good chance right. that moles it's would just like, remove it I, I, if uh, I, I, if you do that to them. It's, it's, sure. It's okay. <laughs> but then if you want to keep it, you know, putting it in the corner next to moles is maybe a little close. Just coming to see how you're doing. In that case. Check in on you, offer you some drinks. 
Uh, all right. Well, the reason I don't, I don't I like it it's because right, so you know the moles are uh, so slow early mine. that they really can't afford to deal with your plot and Free be missing actions. a card. So that's when you want to mess with them. True. As opposed to waiting until they're big and. But again, it comes back down to that question of do you want to be like the only one really keeping Warlord in check or do you want moles potentially in a space to help with that? Of course, they don't want to, but maybe you can maybe you can coax them. It's it's a balance. It's who knows. Oh, geez, it's been a hot minute since I've played Corvids. Yeah. All right. Going to use my first action to plot here. Going to uh, Juanito, yes, five warrior recruit Corvids because of Lost City. Uh, going to move and Ooh, Corvids setting up shop on the Lost City, which is good for their crafting. Bad for you know other people wanting that clearing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> certainly gutsy. Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, that's my daylight actions. I will not exert. And then I will draw my two cards. I think the one thing I would have liked to have seen was yeah, uh, a cleared path that turn for the point. Yeah, yep. But, uh, but otherwise, a solid uh, turn one uh, for the, uh, the Corvids. Who wants to steal all my items? Yeah, I've got I'm a listening. <laughs> yeah, he hasn't even moved. <laughs> no, it's, it's like we we could fight over these and see how the cards lie, but like it's early game. Let's just see if we can like be civil about this, okay? I so, love it. You're like wheeling and dealing. I love it. <laughs> what? It's literally the game, mate. <laughs> uh, so there's four items on the board. I say we just take two each. We don't know what they are at the moment, so it's like a fair trade and a fair play. If I take the two on the top, you can take the two on the bottom. And I, I'll go for this one in this fox, this one in the lost sitter, and you can go for these two over here. I mean, I want to go in the fox clearing in your direction at any, at any rate. It's too far away. But uh, yeah, I'm guessing yeah. I'm getting two of these anyway. I'm not sure which one, which two those will be. Just it's in terms just, of like movement. But... Yeah, it's just because you could start because obviously mine are delayed by a turn, aren't they? So you could yeah. start to try and fight me for mine. So what I'm saying is, we don't do that. I won't fight you for yours. You don't fight me for mine, and we ju and we just play like above board until we've both got our two items. Okay, yeah. So it's just like building our base before we're attacking each other. Like, yeah, yeah. Normal, normal game. Stuff. Interesting. So wouldn't yeah. Warlord yeah. and yeah. Vagabond are so sort of creating go, an agreement so I don't raise, to um. To give each other ruins. So I get two warriors. That's uh. uh they both go up here. I think I think what we've been seeing in the tournament uh, so far is that that deal uh, is a whole lot better for warlord than it is uh, for vagabond. Uh, absolutely. Choose a different absolutely. mood. Uh, so I can understand the desire from vagabond's part so to, you know, not broker an enemy too soon. But I don't know if you can afford then... to give up those ruin items, particularly if they end up being uh, a good one. Craft, I am not crafting anything. Uh, so, <laughs> move... I, I get Warlord, making a deal to um, one. only so I can only bother with the ruins that he wants and not go for all of them, and then picking Jubilant, which... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit of a contradiction. A little bit of a contradiction. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll come to your aid. I'll, yeah. <laughs> I'll just take this stronghold and just leave. I don't know how contradictions are measured, but it's certainly on the heavy side. <laughs> it's a heavy set contradiction. It's, <laughs> it's doctor was concerned. Uh, then I advance so I can move one, two, three. Cool. All right, we're just going for uh, it. Holy uh, moly. Then do I battle? Oh, not oh crazy God, about first this. Turn battle. Not with with um, Jubilant. If if I mean, Warlord had gone, well, he can't go stubborn because you you set up with that. They they score it, so, yeah. Uh, so I should try and do the math. Yeah, I don't know. This is maybe if you took an extra warrior, but I don't love it with only three warriors yeah, total. You know, mm -hmm. old Lord. Four. <laughs> Four. Uh, <laughs> So if it's an ambush, uh, yeah, that ruins too much of me. So for now, let's just say that we're we're being nicey nicey. 
I, I won't battle. Look, look, you've neighborhood stopped... Corvids. Yeah. I mean, you, yeah, you've stopped me from scoring anything this round, so you, you're like you're still attacking me, and I don't like you for that. But there's not much I can do about it. So. Yeah, I think I would have used my command to battle the, to the Corvid in the yeah where my stronghold is, and then advance, and then yeah. I don't know that you. Sight. I don't know that you need to make it into Lost City this turn. Two cards to yeah. In two clearings, correct? Uh. Any number of times. Yeah, I mean, this is this is correct. Yeah. You have a warrior in there, yeah. So yep. I, can sight in this I would have really liked to have seen. I sight in that clearing. Actually, I should have done this properly. In sight in that clearing, then I rolled for jubilant. No, oh, no. Have, um... yeah. 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 No, the warlord clearing only. I've revealed what's in my hand there, but screw it. No, oh, they're not using that. Yeah, sorry, you have to. It, uh, yeah, it says after you inside your warlord's clearing, so it only if you. Ah, uh, right. So yeah, yeah. So you pick the middle one first. It, so oh. yeah. Okay. I will. Okay. I will. I am doing both clearings. Okay. Do you want? Yeah, and I don't know if you're going to be rolling four times. Why? Why go for both? Yeah, I don't why know. Go for the fine. second. You Just use, uh, you can use the the big box thing. You can click that, yeah. and that rolls the the dice right. a bit more reliably. I'll I'll roll it then, and. It's still bunny anyway. But <laughs> dice hate when you change stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I think that was like three bunny rolls over the course of that. At some point. Hope, hope you enjoy that. Yeah, point. somebody <laughs> at some point, Corvids. I think the moles are going to head there right now. It's uh, I've, been, I've been anticipating some expansion there. Uh, but then I don't... Yeah, I would have liked to have seen cool. Warlord do this just by going to the fox oh, clearing oh, and keeping back a card to either craft it or build a stronghold, no something like you that, you know? Into the yeah. Clearings with Corvids in the first place. <laughs> it's their fault. Make sure it you... Is their fault. Wait, are we just... It's their fault. You saw what was clearing. in my hand. You it's can do this up to four times. It's, the, it's not... Are we going to roll any more times? This way. <laughs> I couldn't go that way. Cause that was it just one roll? I, I don't know. It's literally, I, I thought the whole idea was that he had rolled the die. He'd rolled it. Using the mat. He'd rolled it twice, once, and then he used the mat. That still would leave one. Yeah. Just wait until this is a bomb. I'm going to love it. Yeah. Maybe the maybe this is his friendly play where he's not going to touch the vagabonds. Well, not, well then why did he choose Jubilant? <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't understand. <laughs> One, I'm confused. I get it's like a team. it's like a rat Jeez. head with an otter body or something like that. I am going to. <laughs> That's horrifying. Or, or maybe it's the other way around. I think it's the it's the rat body with the otter head because okay. the otter's making the deals, but the rat is still there, <laughs> inciting mobs. You've been playing too much weird root, Bob. This is getting funky. <laughs> uh... Let's see. I think. All right, so Rosano going for the turn one market build. Uh, we're going straight into a swole strat. This is going to be interesting. Action. I'm just going to move this guy up here. Out of the I, it seems like the moles might just be trying to raise because uh, otherwise, if you go market, I feel like. Well, he revealed he revealed master and graveyards to do this, so I. Uh, buddy for I did not see that. So yeah, it, uh, and, he's, and he's swaying four moles. So yeah, this sounds like he's just going heavy wow. on the race strat. That's a mole joke. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, we're done. He's doing it. He's Ooh, doing it. Give him a little crown. I get one point. Why are those cards face board? down, or is that just me? That's just you. Uh, if you want to leave and rejoin the TTS server, that will fix the issues for you too. <laughs> I didn't think about me needing to leave. TTS is a, it's a funny thing. Uh, I could craft, but I'm not going to craft anything. Uh, so I will just draw, and then that'll be it for me. All right, I'm excited to see where this goes. We have not seen okay. like a strong, well, uh, a of you know, m money mole, whatever you want to call it, pump and dump. Uh, Let's see. Any variation of a market heavy strat okay, so uh, from right. turn one I may in the tournament. And this is, like, I think, a good matchup mm. for it, assuming yeah. the table doesn't just like <laughs> respond by immediately rolling into your clearing and punishing you. There's definitely more going on than I expected here. <laughs> With this group, you thought there would be anything different? <laughs> <laughs> uh, not really. Hey. You know. This is a complex, entangled board state at this point of the game. <laughs> are you wearing? Are you wearing a, 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 a path through your living room, pacing right now? <laughs> hey, I've been down to the kitchen two times already. Oh, gotcha. 
Are you, are you doing laps around your around your house? I, it, I always feel like like I don't know about you. I always feel more like calm and quiet when you're talking on the phone and stuff. If you're bass, and this is just the <laughs> main bass. Do you have a wireless keyboard and mouse so you can just walk around and play? <laughs> <laughs> I think you need a wireless monitor or something then too. It's the wireless monitor that don't do it. Oh, oh gotcha. Been an update. Picturing a uh, VR setup, just fully wireless VR, VR setup, setup, walking around. <laughs> I'm pretty sure GTS has a VR mode. So I certainly haven't tested it. I don't have a VR headset. <laughs> um, um, you sh there's a thing. You have to like click on it and do state two. There it goes. Oh, oh look at that! Oh. Oh, good boy. The one thing that the vagabond is worried about oh. has, now, has now been avoided. Yeah, Oh, All right, that is huge for Battle Rager. Yeah. That is huge. <laughs> okay. Um, I will note, uh, 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 Tinker is sticking wow. to the agreement and just uh, letting Warlord have two of the ruins, which, again, I think is <laughs> not great. But getting the hammer, you know, that is a load off of Tinker's um, yeah. shoulders. Crafting something. And then also, so I'm hopefully the hammer. Tinker will go ahead and spend a card to remove the path. Uh, yep. Uh, because uh, Vagabond is another faction that can take great advantage orders. of closed paths. Because Vagabond gets a ton of cards and it doesn't need them. So that's no points. Oh. So that doesn't False mean orders that craft so you for the Tinker. <laughs> Everybody hit the Vagabond. <laughs> Insolent Noisemaker. The Tinker could have stopped the Warlord from taking ruins by exploring them first. Um, that's that's the way it could have happened. The Tinker could have gotten one of those two. Aid. Mm -hmm. but do I one. mean, I would oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to craft an item for you. So if you want to aid me, I'll take it. Friendly neighborhood Corvids. What's the best part about Corvids? They're not the moles. <laughs> <laughs> like, spend any card to reveal, like, um, one of these paths, right? Like yes, you, sir. Yes. Doesn't need to I haven't commented on the quests for the Vagabond yet, but the, they suck. I mean, Let's look at them. I haven't looked at them yet. Uh, you have to spend it. Yeah, yeah. I'm spend I mean, with my torch ability. I'm oh, spending gotcha. it right. to open this one up. That gives me another point. Oh, oh no, I'm Get ready, everyone's Vagabond. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, Vagabond opened a path, which I like. Okay. Did it by spending a crossbow what? card. with a crossbow? Yeah, that's interesting. 100%. That's interesting. Of the, of the next player. Uh, I guess I'm just... That crossbow could have been pretty useful. Hmm. Like, maybe more useful than a False Orders yeah. for Tinker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, my daylight. I kind of would like to have seen those flipped, even though I like False Orders a lot. Like, I like it a lot. I just... Wait. I'm I'm baffled by this decision. That's all. There's no. It's the chaos here. beaver. <laughs> it's the chaos beaver. <laughs> I just I'm just thinking who could just be making random cards. decisions. Covid extortion plot, right? That's stealing cards from someone else. Yeah, well, if it. you think it's an extortion, why I mean, instant noisemaker. Mobs would keep spreading, and Tinker gets max one per turn. Tinker's already getting max one per turn. Nothing so like, from that bomb he put even if you're only getting one per turn, you're denying Warlord that one every right, time. I'm just and going to evening. It's it's not going to stop Warlord from getting one of those, but you could stop Warlord from getting any more if you were to like dedicate your game to racing uh, those mobs. Just cutting to five. Yeah, and that's which you know sometimes that's please, necessary. Please tell me, Corvid, you like in a less in a game where they had not negotiated that deal. Sometimes that's just what you have to do. That would have been. Uh, I did not. All right. Uh, to start the turn, I'm going to use my plot there to craft, craft swap meat. Because it counts as a bunny clearing. All right, that is a good craft for Corvus. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. And then I will proceed to flip. Extortion. It is, in fact, a raid. So oh. I'll take two points. Oh, look at that. That works for both of them. Yeah, that works out beautifully, actually. Uh, and since it is still birdsong, I would like to... Uh, <laughs> and it's funny that the warlord came in with the mob. <laughs> <laughs> Who's got a tasty card that they uh, don't want me to take? Feel free to speak up. Uh, actually, I think Vagabond pretty explicitly said that, so I would like to take a card from Vagabond. Uh, oh. You can How randomize them if you'd like. How are you doing that, sorry? Uh, uh, with Swap, swap meat. meat. Oh, Swap Meat. Oh, okay. The, I think the only faction that can craft it and then use it immediately. Okay, um, so I'm just putting my... Yes, Corvids are the only faction with the bird song crafting. Yep. yep. You can randomly the only ones you Also, uh, yeah, good note for the false orders. Yeah. Which is a dangerous play for the Corvids. Yeah, Corvids can actually craft false orders, use it, and then if they have another yeah. fox pot, craft another one and use that one all in the same <laughs> turn. <laughs> uh, I'll take this one. 
What do we get? Mm. Oh, okay. I have this one back. Thank you. Okay, cool. That's my swap meet. So then I will recruit. Whoa. Oh, there Service goes the hammer. There goes the hammer. Uh, uh, wow. So what are the chances that Tinker eschews and explore to, to Mr. Vagabond? Look at him. He's day labor that back. He could have crafted. And he's saying oh, yeah. he's a friendly neighborhood Corvid. That not a not a bad idea. Go dig it out. But yeah. <laughs> Although to be fair, that is a hammer, and I don't know if I would craft you a hammer. Yeah. It's all right. Just craft them, and I'll. Yeah, I don't know. At what point is it better to to use it for suit, uh, and know that Tinker can get it back at the cost of a torch? I don't like what you're doing here. Or is it better to just take the two points and craft it yourself? <laughs> And let yeah, Vagabond ate it from you, you know? He's doing, yeah. <laughs> he's doing it. He's blaming the Corvids again. Yep. <laughs> All right. So that's my recruit. Uh, uh, Captain Kirby, I don't know. My daylight actions. Oh, boy. Okay. So. Yeah, so rats. Derek, I'll rats. be right back. No problem. So there's a raid, or any there, anywhere there's my a mob, own again. A bad idea. I don't know the rest of the song. I'm going to plot. Don't forget to take this uh, this mob for that free point. Yes, thank you. Yep. You don't have to. It's not comp compulsory. <laughs> oh, I think it is. All right, so we're setting up a plot on the stronghold uh, quarter, and then which does not have a mob token. To... Uh, so we are just dedicating our game to harassing yeah, Warlord we'll right now, it looks like. Battle the mob, which, which okay. again, probably warranted with so many empty no. clearings. Okay, you can take your mob back. I'll take the point. This uh, is probably why, as Warlord, I would have focused on to... getting at least one of those empty clearings uh, last turn. If I wasn't going to like, you know, build a stronghold or, or something like that. Uh, Purple potato. <laughs> why are you picking on me? <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, shoot. Sorry, that's two moves. I'm crazy. Never mind. <laughs> Ignore me. Um Corvids don't get to march. To make that move if you want. I am not. And what no, a quality move it would that. be. That's <laughs> but a bit of a ridiculous one. I uh, my notifications blowing up. So, yeah. yeah, I'm gonna stick there. Those are my three actions. In the evening, I will not exert. Thung and Corvids are a ton of fun. Uh, two more cards. I mean, they suck, but they're a ton of fun. <laughs> I don't. If you, I, I think, in heavily entangled games, which happen more often with Marauder. Uh, and particularly with Lost City Let's to help out, I think Corvids so are, are maybe okay. Tokens, take all items. Maybe okay. Uh, so, so... so but then you roll the Rob dice. Okay, so... I don't know, just, just always play items, tournament rules, apparently. A bag? That's the moral of the story. Uh, then this one will happen. Destroys all right, I'm back. Yeah, You're back. And I gain a all right, okay, so the two ruins that Warlord got were bag and boot. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot uh, of birds in my supply here. Which, uh, probably good for Tinker, because that leaves sword team. and um, uh, hammer for Tinker, which obviously the Tinker got hammer already. And it shuts down mm. uh, Relentless for the Warlord, mm. which is arguably the best mood. Yeah. Well, as I've been learning the Warlord and getting better with them, I think one in each, right? avoiding the ruins has been part yeah, of my strategy because of that randomness side. of He's getting the bag and yeah. not really wanting it. Lot of, so lot of, that tells you something about this game. Yeah. Uh, okay. That's Sorry, that was my token. Yeah, this is probably the worst outcome that could have happened for Warlord, getting two <laughs> command items <laughs> yeah. and shutting down your best mood. Oh, I... Here's, here's one thing. My mood card hasn't changed. Oh, God, what was it? Ah, it's insight. Okay, so it doesn't do anything. Uh, what did I roll? I rolled a foxy fox. I think it's back towards 
Yeah. Back to your home. In theory, he could go here too, though. No, uh, they, he was rolling. Would... He was rolling for that. Oh, one. oh. No, it doesn't. Okay. It doesn't work that way. Uh, your moods are still the same, right? Like it only changes at the end. Or... Yeah, yeah. Mood stops. It doesn't do anything at the moment. It... So. Oh. Yeah, for for reference, Jim, you do not have to pick yeah. a mob that you're rolling for. It works like okay. sympathy. You you have a mob Mission network, clearing. and you can go in any adjacent clearing to a mob. I Wait, what? Place one. Wait, what? Down here. Oh no! Oh no! They're doing it for each one. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> oh no! Oh. Um, oh. Choose a different mood first. Oh, that's gonna make Warlord a little more annoying. <laughs> Oh, I hope someone catches that. Yeah, ex we're, we're seeing exponential mobs right now. I, I don't think we've seen that uh, mistake in the tournament yet. That actually, that came up a lot. Um, like, not in playtesting, but like when people were, when they released the, the first couple PNPs for Warlord, and people were just sort of casually playing with it. That one yeah. came up a lot. Okay. Uh, craft, I don't craft. So Come nobody's on. stopping it. Oh, no, this, uh, I missed out recruiting that. Uh, so I get two warriors down. Uh. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. So both your items only improve. Rowdy. Out, right? so it uh, yeah, so I don't get more warriors. Cards are good. Cards are always good. So now I'm on. To I wouldn't mind I'm actually seeing Lavish right here. Craft. Get rid of the bag. Uh, yeah. And then get two so more get, warriors. Like, beef up a little rations. bit. No, yeah, I, I agree. Um... An early game lavish just to jumpstart your recruiting a little bit and curate your moods a little bit. That I mean, that can pay off in the long run. And it can, you know, your your moods are sort of syncopated, so it can help to yeah, I, I get use now. lavish and have a better selection for the next turn. Make sure you're not taking up one that you'll end exactly. up needing. Yeah. Move. All right, but I like what we're seeing here. We're seeing Warlord start to spread out into empty clearings and get that oppress set up. I mean, I, I, I'm a friendly neighborhood rat man. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what, what uh, I would say about it, yeah. And since we have more mobs on the board oh. than we're supposed to, maybe also... Uh, Move these... Oh, no, because that's you that, uh, Bitter. Yeah, that would be great for Bitter. Uh, it's also potentially great for the table, these particularly moves. someone like yeah. Corvids who just, you know, need points. Uh, those oh. are free points. That's my two actions. Lord of the Hundred Mobs, yeah. That's exactly right, Slugface. Then... <laughs> <laughs> um... Advance these guys to... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh. Boy. Putting the war in Warlord. It's gonna get interesting. And uh, I. Hey, will... we're all here. I will... Yeah, everybody's here. Due diligence. Party clearing. Of, of uh, punching the vagabond and battle the vagabond. Oh. oh. Okay, so no not okay. exactly okay. tournament meta, but certainly non-tournament meta of you know punch the vagabond at the earliest opportunity. Oof. Oof. Three and one, but I'm defenseless, so that's actually four, right? Oof. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I do not know that Tinker needed that in this in this meta. Uh, one moment. I would almost say Tinker should oh, damage everything but the torch and hope to go get that last explorer before Actually, Warlord gets it, since Warlord yeah. has now you know broken their deal. Okay. One. They had an arrangement, and two, Warlord's broke. Oh, we were seeing Tinker exhaust an item that was not three, exhausted. That's not good. Uh four. That's a common mistake, exhausting an item when you damage it. All right. Oopsie, that's the wrong yep, place. That's my daylight complete. Uh, on to insight. I will not insight. You know, the damage, <laughs> uh, the damaged okay. items of the Vagabond have always been a very vexing <laughs> process between the forest and, and then, exhausted uh, versus I damaged. Yeah, it's for what should be a simple <laughs> system. It's somehow very confusing. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. That was an interesting turn. Oh, that, was an, that was a very interesting uh, turn. I'm, I'm worried that, uh, I am going to that Freeman build isn't uh, fully aware of the press. 
Thank we you. do know that that Freeman is new to the Warlord. So, you know, that's certainly understandable. I mean, he talked about how hmm. Corvids had shut down uh, yeah, his oppressed right. last turn. So that, that indicates at least a basic awareness of it. And... And he did move that one warrior out over there to get the one Into, point yep. of oppress. I don't know. That's weird. I think I'm just going to take a move. move I mean, we might just be back. seeing... Uh, the the fun that always comes with someone who is this like a very different meta coming into this meta, you know, like they're they're yeah. at home meta, which is wildly different from anything online. My suede minister action, um, so I can build, and I'm gonna build a. Let's see, why not build another? Okay, so this is really interesting. Uh, Rosano. Not going pump and dump because he's tossing down citadels, which means yeah. they're going to stick around. Uh, mm -hmm. He's just going straight uh, swole from turn one. Sway uh, a minister. This is really I'm interesting. Like hemmed in the corner here. Look at those items. Movement. Those are great items. Those are that's some great crafting potential. Uh, so whenever he wants it. I think I'll probably take the movement guy. Marshall the marshal. That's my boy. Save the lucky captain battle. That's typically my first right, so first sway points. is the marshal. Before Bridget? I pick this mess. Well, if I up. obviously Bridget first, but if <laughs> I'm <laughs> if I'm stuck with only one sway, yeah, uh, then Marshall is usually my first, so I can I get the sway kind of going. Obvious. Yeah, typically Marshall is my first squire. Uh, and then uh, I will craft because movement is just so useful for so many things. Yeah. It sets up so it sets up sway. It sets up a battle. It you know it. it Boot. It's just good. All right, we saw a two-point boot so just two now. Uh, then I think I. So this is where the table maybe needs to wonder: if I leave uh -huh. moles alone now, are they going to snowball? Uh, and thus, do I need to go after them now? Uh, because warlord is yeah. in a decent position to do that. Corvids, honestly, are not in a bad position to do that with a nice little army built up. Works, so I don't, I don't, tell I don't you. refresh them, but they don't repair themselves. I don't Vagabond not in position to do that. goes into the damage yeah, yeah, state. But it doesn't flip well, the, right, so. the Vagabond could fall oh, yeah. orders that <laughs> mouse clearing. Oh, no, but I, I'm just not sure that the trade or aid or something. But that the table is willing to work so against the moles the way that they need to. Still. I'm more more concerned about the warlord's participation in that. Yeah. Technically, after you spend a night in the woods, everything should be fine. Yeah, but, but I, I'm, I'm still thinking. So um... technically, <laughs> um... yikes! That's fucking. Okay, bad. During, if that's fine with you, I'm, I fix the problem with the bag, and then I just refresh everything. Is that, is, yeah. that, is that fine with the table? Yeah, yeah, sure. Go, okay. go for Thank it. You. All right, okay. I think they fixed the Slip. the incorrect to exhausting of a damage oh, item. Okay. Is what was going on there? Uh, oh, question. Are you hostile with the rats? No, oh. because I didn't remove. Because you didn't anyone. kill anything, right? Yes. Okay. I, I I didn't do anything. I was just attacked rudely. <laughs> Sorry, this is me. He plays a lot of rude. Not knowing. The vagabond the playing PR the there. The vagabond. I'm still on great terms with everyone. Thank you very much. So. Okay, gotcha. I'm slipping to <clears> here. <throat> and. Um, oh, he's going for it. I like it. I'm uh, flipping the hammer to. Repair the hammer. the hammer, and then repair the torch. Flipping that hammer to repair the torch. Yeah, boy. Oh, nice. Love it. To explore the ruin. <laughs> uh, two. Oh, there I go. Mm. Defenseless, yeah. no more. Uh, uh, please was. make your figure a little bigger now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then. Uh, and that should be a point uh, for the sword. vagabond. She is not taken. Mm. I'll flip this to aid. Aiding sword, mm. a uh, mainstay of the tournament I so far. The pros, the mm -hmm. I stab you with kindness. Hey, I'm always up for extra cards. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> that gives me oh, I should, uh, one point for the exploring. Sorry, I, mean, I forgot yep. that. And then one point for going. Well, to so the far nobody's talked here. about the moles. Oh. 
Yeah, so it doesn't seem uh, to be a threat things. to the table at the moment. Right. Uh, which is probably a mistake. We'll see. You get two items and I get two items. Uh, mm. work you well. definitely <laughs> went for it, though. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what this is doing no, no. here, huh? <laughs> Please, no. How? That was their pure <laughs> random chance. That was dice roll. I can't yeah, help yeah. how a random dice roll goes. That deal was sustained. <laughs> uh, Mafifim, that is a lot of crows on the table because we have the Lost City buffing up the... Uh, you're buffing up the recruits. Not in the forest, so I don't Which is big. It helps Corvids a lot. I think it's looking pretty good, I think, on that front. Oh, and did we get so we had that raid trigger, card. didn't we? Yeah, we had a raid trigger as well. Yeah, and not 11. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> nothing to discard down, and that's my turn. All right, going All right. into round three, I believe it is. Okay. What are we doing here? Yeah, okay. Start of my turn. You're Max Corvids, aren't you? I like you am get 15 on the board. That's correct. So, start of my turn, I'm going <laughs> yeah, to... Yeah, they're all out. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> uh, using my two Fox tokens there. Right, crafting right, informants. This one's a bomb. Uh, I don't love informants, particularly not yeah. for Corvids. No such luck. Um, oh, man, come on. Like, if Corvids are going to sacrifice their draw, they probably want to do it for an action and not an ambush, you know, right? First, right. first guess, but... Has not happened yet. Ah, oh, Captain so, Kirby, thank you uh, much for much. See, I'm gonna use the, my swap the, meet, the. I think. Thank you so much for the two Fun. months. I appreciate it. <laughs> thank uh, you. Live TV, okay. everybody. Yep. <laughs> Mino Taku. Oh, just throwing cards I around. <laughs> I just. All right. I put them face down. Okay. All right. We're going for the swap meet with the moles. Uh, uh, probably a good target. Oh. Okay. Interesting. All right. If anyone, uh, if you want to disrupt anyone's hand, it's probably the moles. You can have. Yeah. That guy there. I don't like this. Sorry. Okay, next day. Must have lost that T. This is the snare for two points. I will. Snare would have been a lot more useful if the mob had not made Snare. its way in there yet. Nothing happened. As is, course. it's I probably just going to get removed. Really but I like that yeah. Corvids are keeping pace oh, wow. right now, you know? I mean, you can spend a card if you want, I guess. <laughs> I'm just worried that the Corvids right, harassing so the Warlord is actions. going to really just make the moles that much stronger. Yes. <laughs> That's my fear. Yeah, uh, I think we're seeing Warlord... Doing a good job of harassing people without building up his own engine. What are the chances? Uh, and I think this could very easily turn into a case where the warlord just doesn't get established and never gets established because of it, you know? And that would right. allow moles to get their engine up and running in isolation, snowball, and run away with things. Unless the Corvids can do uh, it first, maybe? First action, I'm going to battle the mob here. And I mean, there's a there's a world where moles and Corvids race, and that maybe works out for Corvids. I don't know. Thank you. Apparently, I'm win-making you this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, everyone's... Then use my second action to plot. Everyone's concerned about Corvids and not about moles right now. Which is just how moles like it. That's just... Typical um, crow meta, really. Everybody yeah. worries about crows. And then I will use my third action to... You worry about the terrorists going around bombing places and not about the uh, insidious foreign nation coming in and setting up, you know, economic <laughs> dependencies. Neo imperialism? I, I like the Matrix. I like Neo. Getting some. <laughs> so, <laughs> some back. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I might as well, right? Um, uh, I'm also going to. This is some aggressive plotting. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to burn a card to open up a path. I think they need that, though. Yeah, yeah. It. <clears throat> I realize this. Like I was going to say, there's multiple ways to interpret aggressive, and I do like, you know, putting out a lot of plots. Um, I don't know if I love the locations they're being placed, maybe, is uh, my concern. Because, sure. Because they're, like, you know, right underneath the Warlord's feet, 
what's what's he gonna do? And I mean, probably battle it, but then again, <laughs> oh, he didn't no, battle that I'm snare before, so I don't know. The rats. What were you gonna say? So they can visit. I was gonna say that I think maybe. It's taken a long time for the crow strategies yeah, to like suit, kind of develop, but what seems to have surfaced to is better crow performance when <laughs> they are really, really <laughs> focused on and just plotting. Like, <laughs> yeah, just really doing that aggressive, like you said, aggressively, sure two turn, two times a turn if they can. Uh, you know what? And then sort of sitting back and kind of figuring out what to do from there. They craft with them, keep them face down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. plots as opposed to classically what we've always done maybe it's just me was just like put a plot put a plot out flip it next turn put a plot out flip it next turn and that just doesn't work well i know i know the meta started shifting toward you know plotting every turn once a turn but saving the flips for like you know big flips at once mm -hmm. um but yeah maybe what we're seeing is the benefit of the lost city allowing an extra like Allowing a couple extra plots into that rhythm, right now, but which I'm is going to help yeah. the whole thing a lot because it makes more targets that the players you know what? don't necessarily so. remove. It means more flips potentially. It, I mean, maybe that is adding up to be a huge benefit. And end my turn. I mean, the problem with going oh, so go. plot heavy and is it diminishes so your army, which means you can't be, you know, punchy. Ball. You can't be aggressive. Yeah. Uh, which is always a threat in a very dense game, but this is not a very this dense game. This is <laughs> this one uh, currently. I mean, it, it feels like it should be, but it isn't, weirdly enough. Here. All right, are we going to continue with our exponential mob spreading? There's only two more mob tokens to place, so it can't go too long. I could go down here, but then roll for this fox. Oh no. Actually, it's no point rolling for it because it can't spread anywhere. Oh, anyway, I then roll for this one. <laughs> Wait, is it, isn't it only once? After, after resolving all mobs, roll them up, die once? Yeah. Oh, it's only you once. Still have oh, right, I thought it was each clearing. Oh, right, nope. so it's, it's done. All right, they figured okay. it out they finally. It. They found it. <laughs> A little too little too late, but uh, here we are. <laughs> so that's done. Recruit. <laughs> so I gain one guy here. I think um, I think they tested mobs working that way for about a week, uh, and Josh was like, "Yeah, that's way too much rolling. That there's no way that's staying around." <laughs> a sheer logistical challenge. Right. Like, all right, I'm gonna at the start of my turn, I'm gonna roll the die six times. <laughs> Going stubborn. All right. Uh, I anticipate violence if we're going stubborn. Uh, the question is, is it Corvid violence? Is it Moles violence? Is it will... more Vagabond violence? <laughs> what will it be and what should it be? Those are the questions. Who? It probably should be Mole violence. Yeah, it definitely should be Moles. I mean, if you don't want to go into the, the big mouse clearing, at least go take that rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> Lily's saying it's Warlord violence. Uh. That is... You know, that's not wrong. <laughs> you want me to go after Corvids in the Lost City, you can fight the ones that are with you. See, what I was thinking is I really want your boot because it gets me a third action. I guess? But, but I'm Corvids not sure are if, here. If, yeah, I'm not sure. if that, that's, my, that's my big indecisive point at the moment, is Corvids are so far ahead. I mean, it's only a few points. So did we have not been touched? We didn't so. place that Lost City mob no, this I, turn. Did we just not remove that plot token? Yeah, is that what's happening here? Everywhere on the on the board. No, I think it just got placed. Oh, did it just get placed? With the, yeah, oh, with the okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I think uh, once, uh, if the mode. I thought he placed somewhere else. Oh, no, you're right. That doesn't make sense. I'm not bothered about the moles getting big. I actually want the moles to expand a bit more, just so that we can start working together. You know. Do what we're supposed to do, and I'm at the moment feel like I'm being policed by Corvids, and moles feels like I feel like moles are just trapped in a corner. So I'm perfectly willing to let the moles out. Oh no, no, don't let the moles out. Trap them in more. <laughs> <laughs> no, you never want to let the moles out. That's not how it works. No, no, no. Go back. Go back. Go back. <laughs> Their corner is too big. That's the problem. The <laughs> uh, thing is, I've no idea what these are. 
Well, I mean, you got like a hundred battles. You could like battle through this one if you want. Who <laughs> uh, let the moles out? Yeah, Who? I knew it was coming. Uh, you can also I knew it that. was coming. I didn't want to do it myself. I, I appreciate yeah, it. It's a uh, reveal one of your own, isn't it? You, you give don't it really... to me, and it has to match the clearing. And if you yep. get it right, you get yeah. your card back and remove the token. If you get it wrong, I keep the card. It's like betting a card that you yeah. know what it is. All right, we're talking about exposure time. Which is interesting for position. Oh. Or you take the open door that the friendly neighborhood <laughs> Corvid's provided right to the Mole Citadel and uh, just say hello and get a boot no, no, guaranteed. No, 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 no. Mm. All right, so it sounds like Dazzy is intentionally trying to shepherd the Warlord into the moles, which mm -hmm. I like. I like a lot. Okay. So, what are you doing with that card? Uh, he has to spend a card to build. Spending a card oh, okay. to build. Okay. And I, I, it's only so long until that gets stolen by Corvid. I thought you were maybe like crafting it, but okay. Well, I think there are now two Corvids anyway, in the game. But... Alright, building a stronghold, which I like. Two of them. Actually, it's a decent location, too. It's pretty well connected to places. That's true. Yeah. It's a mouse clearing, which is decent for crafting. Better than a single fox. So, what I'm going to do then is... I'm just saying, like, two battles here. I'll go... I'll... I've got, one, I've got one action and a move battle. Oh, Thungan, yeah, thank you so much for the subscription. Two months. Thank you so much. I appreciate mm, it so much. Oh, your first action was as a building. Yeah, yeah build. build. Yeah, and then it's two battles here. Hey, you get emotes. Fun emotes. Oh, you can try guessing if you are afraid. I got a bunch of new of them yeah. recently. If you've yeah, got I'm the, sure. like, if you have the chutzpah, you can try <laughs> guessing that shit. <laughs> are you in his head? Like, do you know what this is? Can you guess that this is a bomb? <laughs> I mean, it, it, if anyone's going to be a bomb, there was a lot of stuff on the table right in there for some time. Uh... All right, we're getting deep into the mind games of this right now. So... <laughs> yeah, and what I'm hearing is I'm hearing what? Masano oh, okay. so can you get trying the to table? convince the warlord to so <laughs> yeah hurt the crows. So if I'm and Rosano is a talker, and and you know, as moles, he wants to be left alone, so he's just trying to direct the aggression anywhere else. Yes, or you can guess right now. And it sounds like it's working. Yeah, or any. So I think we can agree that moles is a bigger target. Yes, so it's any time. The big question is. In the middle of advanced the Does the table see that? You know, like, and it sounds like currently Freeman so. doesn't see that. I don't think you so. can. Uh, which again, maybe that comes from Freeman's local meta. I don't know how much experience with, with moles he has, if if any. I know he said he hadn't played mountain map. And then, like, say you. Uh, I don't know if he commented on moles. You advance the warlord, and like. So it's possible he has very little experience with moles, or the experience he does have is nothing like, you know, the sweaty online hyper efficiency turtle meta. Any any piece on the clearing you can guess. Like I think the. That, yes. can, I can guess that from the mob plot. Is yes. that correct? Okay. Yes, you can. So, let oh, me... All right. I need to show it to everyone, but... Uh... Oh. <laughs> yeah, you, just yeah, you, you don't need to expose yourself to everyone. Well, Come on. Everybody's that, that, that card. I yeah, saw it was fucked, but yeah. Is that a bomb? It's a private matter. <laughs> it is. Oh my god. Oh, oh my gosh, oh, it actually it. was a bomb. You get get yourself a point, man. Back. You earned it. <laughs> And, and I take, get this card back. Take a point. There you go. I mean, I don't love seeing that happen against Corvids, but... <laughs> right. <laughs> wow. It's certainly exciting either way. Yes. <laughs> that had that much tension in it. Ugh. So, in which case, as my second normal action... Oh. You know what? Let's do a battle in this clearing. Funny, oh, funny like how, uh, yeah, I don't like that. I was going to make a joke, but it's too late. Uh, okay. I don't like this at all uh, for Warlord or Corvids. Okay. And I love it for Moles, which means I hate it for everyone else. All right, so, so that's a 2-1. Two, okay, so two Corvids one, die. We've got Stubborn, so it's a 2-0. guy dies because the plus yeah. one from the plot. Yeah, Embedded Agents, yeah. Nope, nope. we got Stubborn. Missing Stubborn. Missing Stubborn. Boom. Now, well, at least you have diffused that plot. But you could battle it again for a point. You would lose a guy, though. And this would be an easy choice if you remembered Stubborn. 
If you don't remember stubborn, yeah, do you want to face down? Do you want yeah, to lose another face. warrior? I, I would lose a guy if I battle this. Uh, I need to battle it at some. Yeah, coconut tank. There is no such thing as trapping the moles. Uh, There's no such thing. You know what? Instead, as my advance. If you don't do it, the moles might though. Just getting the point. It's just a. Oh, but if then if it's a bomb, I lose quite a bit. What? No, uh, I can't flip it. he can't flip it turn. because there's no Corvid there. So he can't flip that. So even if that is a bomb, there's nobody to light it, effectively. Okay. Yeah. Right, so I'll, I'll battle in this clearing then. I didn't know that. I thought you could flip him even if there were no there. All right. The... Yeah, and I think when we, when we look back, um, we're going to yes, see that this was the turning inside. point, not taking uh, that rabbit no, no yeah. citadel from the moles. Yeah, I mean, this, this was the turn where you could get an easy price of failure before yep. they set up their army on, on those two clearings, and they're missing it. Walk, we do walk. not get to see what it is unless it was a raid and it triggers. It was not a raid. Okay. If I had to guess, I would say extortion or snare. Probably, maybe snare. I don't know. Oh, uh, in battle with the warlord, ignore the first hit you take. Ah, the catching. Ah, oh, there we go. We got it. got oh, it. You were stubborn. Oh, oh. Geez, yeah. <clears throat> uh, see, no. none of us know how to play the warlord. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's All right. fine. Uh, and I uh, I still miss the time where Stubborn was called um, Hardheaded or whatever it was. I love that name oh. so much. That's great. Uh, I never uh, I didn't see it at that point. Well, shit! I was too busy having fun with that turn. <laughs> I wasn't planning my turn. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think that's, that turned out worse for me than you in any case. So. I definitely agree with you, my fine feathered friend. <laughs> All I know is I've given the moles the lost city, and I don't know how good, <laughs> good that was of a decision. Man, you've... Yeah, but I'm holding two it's not even about the lost city. It's about just giving the moles, you know, space to breathe. So... Yeah. yeah that's, that's, what's, the, what's the thing? It's the bold strategy, Cotton. Well, let's see if it pays off. For you. <laughs> God uh, damn. Did the see. warlord score press points? I don't think he did. So should have been one point, hmm. right, for two clearings. Could be one, yeah. I don't think he did. I don't remember hearing anybody. Nobody uh, said anything. Say it. Yeah. Get my moles in the burrow. I got two actions. I'm gonna dig using. Oh, this. we are going for the lost city. Oh, hard. Interesting. Into well, I guess why wouldn't you? I mean, There's a point there. Because you don't need it. <laughs> Those four warriors could have gone to, you know, your I your citadel with two, two warriors on it, you know? So that was my first yeah. action. And my second But maybe this works as a good way to deflect heat. To be like, to maybe the table is afraid of letting you set up shop in Lost City. Token. So you send in this excursion, you get your point, you got an get a free sway These spot moles. for a turn or two, and meanwhile people are so afraid of you building there that they go and wipe you out of there All and right. leave your buildings Thank alone. You. Appreciate it. So, that's uh, a really that's good... So that's a really um, good assessment. Minister action. I was gonna say that it brings more heat than uh, it does value. I'm probably. So I think that kind of goes along with that. To take a move. Uh, like it could, yeah, you're right. It brings heat, but maybe it brings it to, to a better place than where it might have otherwise have gone. I don't know. One boy over here. All right, reinforcing that. Uh, Citadel. Uh, so that's. You can that. just see the game slipping away for everyone else. And then I am going to sway, Bridget. Everyone's oh, good. Boy. Good, good. I mean, bad for the table, good for the moles. A little bit overdue, but it is uh, most definitely time for her. I like how we've all just decided that Brigadier so is that's a girl named Bridget. <laughs> Is there any indication? There's no indication. In fact, like, if we use, like, the, the visual characteristics that Kyle Farron uses to sometimes indicate, um, so like, female characters, it doesn't have any of those, so... Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think I'm just gonna craft... I made a Photoshop version with a bow in, in Brigadier's hair uh, and, and uh, like, the little eyelash thing that Kyle Farron uses at one point. I should uh, port that into TTS, because it was very cute. All right. Um... Refreshing three items. Um, one moment. Okay, Tinker in a decent spot after getting bashed a bit. I, I had this all planned out, but now. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot the Twinkers two. in the game. The Twinker. <laughs> <laughs> the Tinker's in the game. Uh, okay. 
Repairing these three. Uh, oh. repairing. Refreshing. Yeah, the Tinker's in the game. Tinker, Slipping Tinker exists. To the place to be. Oh my God! Get ready for all these crafts. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> damn! Your other hand was used up. It's not that exciting. Um. Yeah, it's not exciting now, but it can maybe be stuff. exciting yeah. in a turn or two. I mean, this is where the Tinker can maybe just start getting some incremental gain. To just uh, hang out in the Lost City, crafting quests every turn. Yep, that's okay. Love to see it for Tinker. This is going to be huge for their game long term. Oh, I've made a huge mistake, but that's fine. <laughs> uh -oh. I was going to say that... Um... I would, I would like to see the Tinker go in and get the tea out of the discard yeah. pile and then craft it, but he already had one, so... Yeah, okay. even even better. Yeah. Oh, this should go... Oh, never mind. This doesn't affect... Yeah, so now what do you get? Do you go get another sword so that you can craft it next turn? would have been funny. Yeah. I mean... Panic mode. Okay. You get the hammer, right? <laughs> it's just... I mean, we saw the anvil hit the discard. Oh, uh, yeah. Why wouldn't you get the hammer? A yeah. And the sword... To do guard duty. Or we could do guard yeah. duty. I mean, we probably... Um, there's I'm how many cards in the deck? Taking the two 24. Cards. I mean, you've got some time. You don't necessarily need to race that hammer and yet. Taking a new quest. Uh, yeah, because you can use it immediately as soon as you I think craft that's it. that's all so. my items. <clears throat> yep. Oof, these T quests are and brutal. That means my daylight's already over. Evening. Draw one card. But I think this is going to start looking good for Tinker in a turn or two. If Tinker... Is left alone ish and and gets a couple of decent turns of build up. I think things are going to start looking pretty competitive there. Uh, yeah, and I think if the like tinker doesn't get left alone, leave. that's a misplay <laughs> on the table's part. Right. I think that's just uh, investing aggression in the wrong location. <laughs> yeah. I really want to see the moles. On successful get hit. Tabletop yeah. I really want to see the moles take some heat right now. Um, I don't said know at the start what that you me mean. and the moles would stay out of each other's way, and so far the peace has held. Yeah. Uh huh. You also said to me, but there should, there should never be end. peace between the warler and the moles. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> two items. That oh, deal God. held. Uh, I never said I wouldn't attack you. Mm. I said we'd both get two items. I see how it is. Yeah, Thungan, the second T is still out, available to be crafted. By accident, really. There's so many craftables left. We've so only many. seen two items crafted. All right, start of my turn, I'm going to craft using my one fox thing. I'm going to craft saboteurs. Nice. Uh, We're seeing some heavy crafting on Corvid's part, and I love to see it, because that is so important to a Corvid win, then... is taking advantage of craftables. Do, 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 do. Would like to see more items yeah, crafted, because those are points, but, I mean, effects are still good. I don't... Yeah, I mean, informants is, yeah. you know, like we said, uh, yeah. it's okay. Yeah. Saboteurs is... It's fine. I don't know what... I guess we're probably going to get rid of Master Engravers is yeah, probably the I plan. Do. Right. I mean, I think that's huge. The, being able to get rid of Master Engravers, yeah. that's going to hurt moles right. a lot. Uh, yeah. uh, slow them down a lot. He's all yeah, at least. Yeah. Um, out my hand this time. All right. Good luck. Potentially protecting something you have in the future. If, if Corvids are sitting on a good craft, that's not bad either. And you're sitting on swap meat. Swap meat's great. JC Greer, without favors, third hammer is, is not, not the scourge it used to be. It's still good because it's, you know hammers are hammers, but it's not uh, the be all end all it used to be. Crafting, uh, and my swap meet, uh, I cannot flip because <clears throat> someone has mysteriously removed my uh, top, top <laughs> board. <laughs> yeah, that was, like a, there was that was unfortunate. Accident with that bomb, I'm not sure what happened. It's weird, yeah, <laughs> crazy stuff. None of my none of my guys were there to see it, so I really don't know what happened. <laughs> um, okay, uh, I am going to recruit. Yeah, we're gonna recruit in the mouse clearing. Good. Uh, that's not mouse is getting us our full five with Lost City. There and oh, are we out of work? No, yeah, there we go. Okay, it's crazy. Yeah, they, they brought four out, out and then it's, it was that's why I said it's actually yeah. really there. We go, cool. we, we got the fifth. It is, that is all of our Corvid really warriors really back on the map, which is great. Corvids in the same breath, <laughs> back at full strength. Um, okay, yep. so that's my recruit, and then I will take my three actions. So, so you have two options here oh, as the crows 
one path is Can't table talk to try to convince do. everybody that the moles need to be dealt with, or you just go do it yourself. I think obviously the table talk option is probably better for you. If Corvitz think... had been allowed to keep a plot or two and get a flip, like get some points, I would be more of a proponent of going after the, the yeah, uh, moles okay, yourself. Cool. Uh, but the mm -hmm. table just like you know they just they just crippled your personal faction scoring engine. I feel like you just have to focus on getting that back online and talking the table into dealing with you know the mole threat that very much exists. Uh, right. And then I'm going to. I mean, Corvids Corvids can be stopped in the late game. To... Moles, it's a lot <laughs> harder to stop. It takes some coordination. Yeah. Also takes time though. That's the uh, that's the one thing that Move. tends to get away from you when deciding to take on the moles. Yeah. <clears throat> it's easy to get talk yourself into. Well, I'll do this this turn and then next turn. It's time for someone else to. Yeah, it's so easy to start kicking the can down the road, and yeah. I mean that can be so dangerous when the game is seven, eight, nine, maybe ten rounds. You know. Yeah. Then, I mean, I think the games have been averaging eight to ten uh, rounds for the tournament, two. but we've had some seven rounds. I think we had a six round. Uh, I think we had one that maybe went longer. I'm going to spend a card. Do I want to do that? Yeah, I think I will. Spend a card. Minimum was five, max was ten. Okay. Remove. Lily with the data. This. For one point. Okay, removing paths. Oh, Love to see it. I... There's still three on the board. That's insane. I know. Well, I mean, moles have had better things to do with their cards, so I get it. Warlord um, probably should have removed one or two, but they've been a little, a little card poor after putting out two incites on turn one. I don't think any ambushes <laughs> have actually been played. But yeah, I really would like to see seen Warlord the clear a path or two. Well, there's one fox ambush. That's it's played. a fox okay. ambush that I discarded to build. So someone's discarded yeah, right, one. Right, right. Okay. And then you only get uh, But no, I'm just going to take mm -hmm. two cards. Yeah, it's, and, I think it's and, worth it too. And my turn. Although that Lost City, I just realized, is a huge ambush magnet. You can just like play every ambush. It is a huge really ambush is. magnet. <laughs> and a huge partisan magnet. You can use all three partisans there in the same battle. All right. Are you coming to t are you coming to take this boot? Yeah, I may be coming to take the boot. Uh, do you know how that uh, action works? The like pillage. Yeah, yeah, I the I rolled looters. zero hits and uh... and then you have to rule the clearing after the battle. And the other side. <laughs> <laughs> so Freeman was like, "Yeah, yeah, I know how it works." Rosanna says, "You have to rule after the battle." After the Silence. Battle you deal no hits and I deal max hits. <laughs> Ooh, well, not okay. not max hits, okay. but you you you, you still deal world hits. Split it in two, like do a real battle first to cut it down a bit, and then do a looting. Four cards in hand, so <laughs> I just I love that moment of silence so much. The just the the, <laughs> the internal wait what? <laughs> so, anyway, what, what anyway, kind of, anyway, yeah, yeah, let's just start going through me yeah. talk, start don't don't yeah. change this. Uh, then so race, race happens i will roll for wrathful would be a good mood here for this because it you still get your extra hits remember we know how to play mm -hmm. the uh so one. that would help you attain attain that rule from the battle we messed up the, the, the mood no, should not be changed yet but i think it doesn't affect anything right now yeah well. it doesn't change oh, anything actually, or do i do i no. i swear one of these times we're going to do a full turn that's correct <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, 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 it ain't happening I can tell you that. <laughs> uh, then, if the mob had spread differently, mice mice. Uh, bitter would have maybe been good. Um, if it had made it to its to that oh, fox clearing where the warlord rats. currently is, mm. that could have potentially but, 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 helped out in the loot. Being so insulting of my cute. Yeah, and I was just looking at that to maybe <laughs> battle closer to those there, mob right? tokens yeah, and then totally move that. over. But yeah, they're just not in the right places. Uh, I think you get. One more <sighs> it maybe would have been worth it to spread the mob to Lost City. And then loot the moles uh, there? Oh, no, wrong step, and sorry. Well, wrong step. Because you would have gotten, yeah, if you use yeah, bitter, you get, uh, what is that, six warriors in Lost City <laughs> by removing yeah. the, the mob there and the two mobs adjacent. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to you're gonna rule after that battle pretty much no matter what. Uh, I mean, if you're not going after that rabbit clearing this turn anyway, that's a better, much better Right, turn. right. Oh, we're in daylight now, okay. 
Which it doesn't look like. Oh yeah, yeah. So I chose the mood first. I, I need to go through that properly. Uh, discard. Is this the second ambush card that uh, Warlord has spent just to build. on something? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was a fox earlier. Same the cards I keep getting. <laughs> what a power oh. play. I don't need these don't silly ambushes. Does that building count towards rule? Yes. yes. Buildings count, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I technically have four right there. So these clearings are equivalent. I think Freeman is doing the is... math and yeah, uh, realizing that it is not super favorable for looting. Uh, Which is better, mole math or rat math? Uh, monster math, obviously. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't realize about the rule thing. That kind of messes me up. Yeah, it can, yeah. It can be tricky. Uh, how about well, hats off to Rosano uh, for sharing that information turn, and uh, but at yeah. least giving him a chance to use a sway to think was, about it. That was friendly. The uh, the uber competitive thing would have been if to just let to rats roll in, try to loot, and then when they don't rule after the battle, be like, haha, you fail, you know? <laughs> 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 that would have been the strictly competitive thing to do. So in which case, I will move when, these guys. When I had Matt from Space Cats Peace Turtles on uh, a week ago or whatever, uh, and I and I mentioned the Waterman rule, you know, the don't tell okay. each other how to win, he yep. just started yep. busting up. He was like, I can't believe oh, you have to tell your players no, that. No, 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 no. <laughs> that your players would be so nice to tell each other how to win or to just, yeah, like, not be, you know, hyper-competitive. It... <laughs> His mind was blown. <laughs> Have you rolled some dice? <laughs> I mean, the okay sounded kind of ominous, but there was yeah. no Matt plays in some ideas. pretty toxic Ooh. metas, for sure. <laughs> yeah, that was scary a little bit. Yeah, man. That's, I... just his, that's just his okay. friends. <laughs> <laughs> that's, not, that's not even like the, uh, the, the community. Yeah, I mean, I watched one of their, their like, Christmas games or New Year's games, whatever, once, like, way back when. Uh, and I, oof, oh. yeah, that was, that was a thing. So what's the final advance? Was that the head desk one or the, the broken chair game? Uh, I think it might have been. Okay. I, I'm going to go for it and see We're doing if nothing it. happens. We're doing it. I oh, am an, oh, so boy. Looting me. I am trying, attempting to loot and hoping a double zero is rolled. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, okay. That's a strategy. Ambush, but I'm electing not to play it is, I think, how you're supposed to say that. <laughs> I know you don't have the ambush. <laughs> <laughs> I just discarded it. Rosano's right. Uh, you always say you have the ambush, and you always say that you're not using it. I thought, I, I thought there was only one of each suit. No, no one of each and two birds. Ah, uh, right. Okay. Okay. Uh, Rager, check your notes, please. Two birds. <laughs> 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 oh, I... Yeah. 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 So I am. I am looting. I am rolling. Final decision. This is a bad play. Come on, death or glory. Hey, look at that. Close. Works out. Fine, actually. I was actually I think it's fine because I, you still take the high number. You just yep. don't roll hits. Yep. Oh, okay. So, so, so you were like that's why I said like that wasn't a terrible play, but that could have gone really bad. It could have gone really badly, but it didn't. You take this boot and no and no moles were harmed in the no making moles. of that boot. Yeah. See, we're friendly. Like I said all along. Yeah, that was <laughs> Yeah, that was friendly. Well done. All right, now let's see that with bloodshed. Let's let's kill that citadel. Right. Please. <laughs> it's all well and good, we got the boot. Now let's do some murder. So that is advance. Oh, that was our advance. I choose not to do a press. Uh, I think it's Oh no. Three clearings. We're just gonna squat in that citadel. I mean, that's not gonna matter. These moles. Make points. <laughs> Nobody's doing anything about the moles. <laughs> And <laughs> then ahead of ourselves. <laughs> I draw two cards. But we're, what about the moles? Not even playing the Lord of the Hundreds, right? <laughs> <laughs> not even playing Root, right? But... Yeah. <laughs> How many ambushes right, are there again? So the the idea uh, or the right. question is is does Russ oh, boys. like just Happy go full bird. on or try to lay low a little so, bit? So four moles in the burrow. <sighs> um, it's uh, a good question. So if two actions, Let's see what I want to do. If he there's a world where maybe he tries to wipe the warlord <laughs> and goes full steam ahead in that world. Uh, but if he doesn't, then he probably needs to lay low because you still That's do have that fighting force on your doorstep that you preferably don't mm. want to Nonsense. Some you know, take heat from. Tunnels in the maybe, right. maybe if you lay low, you can convince <laughs> warlord to just <laughs> you know go back and deal with the corporate threat, quote unquote. Uh, let's see. <laughs> You know, massive air quotes on that. Not that we're condoning that. Uh, 
And I wonder if this is exactly what Rosano is mm. debating right now, is do I go big or do I lay low? Oh, he's sitting on a League of Adventures Micecraft. I think I missed that. So that looters was low-key a denial of an action. Sorry about that. It does make having a bit of a think. It does make looters a little bit uh, exciting, so. better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's still not like you have to calm down. You know, still not a price of failure. Better. I'm just, I'm just playing to the people's champion. You yeah, know, playing to the crowd. <laughs> In the crowd, man. Okay. Trying to win this congeniality. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, yeah, with the vagabond right behind you, I'm just gonna cram the it's difficult for the moles to use it because they can't craft it then use it. Right. Pretty well, to be honest. Uh, no, no, but look at this point. Look at like I mean, how people feel like the would that card be better in your hand as a reveal? Points Probably. Don't, points don't honestly. matter. This is rude. <laughs> uh, all right, I am going to. <laughs> I am going to move. Oh, we're just double down. Ooh, it's so hot. There's so many choices. Uh, so I'm going to move Oops. these guys here. Interesting. Just doubling down on that There's Lost City boys army. On the board. And then um, for my second action, I am going to... Eh. You know what? That's not worth it. There were five in the burrow. Yep. All right, taking it back. We don't like that after all. Recruit once. Then move. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I've got to have All right. <laughs> Never mind. We are was, doubling down the, on it. They're on the board. <laughs> that was the problem, is that oh. there just was one missing. Um, yeah. So that was recruit and then a move. And then I have my... Uh, Actions here. So I have my martial move. So this guy is just going to meander off of here. I have no clue what he's doing. Wait, really? Um, Captain Kirby, yeah, I, we yeah, Rosano is indeing really playing with the blessing he's not gonna do anything. of Nicolas Cage. Um, then I look at his beautiful face. Uh, to build in the lost city. I'm gonna build a market. That is well. Russ has obviously and gone then, for the big move this turn. Yeah, I'm going to use the biggest of big moves. For two battles, one battle against this mob here, do you have the ambush, my friend? Yeah, I think Bridget needs a shield, but we're just not setting one up this turn, apparently. Yeah, I mean, this would have been a strong argument not in this, to craft League of Adventurous Mice, because, because that would have been our fourth card to get a Lord's Way. I mean, we'd still have to set it up, but... <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's almost worth it just for that. I mean, this world is going <laughs> to. The way this is shaping up, we're going to sway Mayor uh, that, 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 and then immediately lose it or something like that. I will respect. I will respect you if you ambush that mole. Uh, okay. I, I actually do need to think about this. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Sure. Debating that ambush. I mean, if ambush it, All he's right. ambushing the the sway uh, mole. Yeah. You ambush the mole. Sway mole. What does that Make gain you? Good friends. <laughs> I don't think that gains so, you anything. Uh, right. Uh, like, cause now Cor I think this, uh, now Corvus can is just already remove set it. Up. The sway is already yeah. set up. Corvus can just so, remove so, it. Mr. Vagabond. You don't really need that mob token. You've got another one, <laughs> you know, down below if you're trying to stay adjacent to the lost city. What's going on right here? It gives you respect. Okay, Lily. Enjoying the scenery, yeah. You're just enjoying the scenery? Yes. Visiting the city. Hmm. Go on. I'm just, I'm just a country bumpkin. I don't have any, any money on me. <laughs> Maybe Warlord's secretly <laughs> setting up for a soup kitchen's craft? Do it! Oh, that would be... I mean, that could actually that be, be what, what's happening here. <laughs> Sorry, I was just letting. I think we need to put some you. Garrick bucks on the line for that one. Uh, <laughs> do you have an ambush for my pile of moles? That's a pile. That's a good one. Yeah. No. All right. Here's the zero zero. 
Nope, that's, that's a two-one. Two one. I lose one. He lose both. Uh, so we've seen a bird ambush, right. a fox ambush, and a bunny ambush. Have we seen the mouse ambush? Joke's on you, my friend. Yes. We Wait, have? I'm just swaying a three-card mm. one, not a four-card one. Uh, Actually, so I don't think we have. I, will swear. I, don't I think answered immediately, but then I realized I was thinking fox. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I don't think we've seen the mouse ambush, and I don't think we've seen the second bird ambush. So there's two ambushes out there, if I'm recalling correctly. Does he craft that? Does he craft that bag? That's something, yeah. Probably. You really <laughs> have. And that is more or the Marine Broker. It's <laughs> more than that. <laughs> or both. You've got Lost City and your two mole, <laughs> your two mouse buildings. Yeah, yeah it's the oh journey. My. All right, so I'm going to... You can actually craft all three of those cards. Stuff. Yeah, you could. I am going to craft Marine Broker. There it is. Oh, no. There it is. Charm Offensive. And we're doing it. He's, do He's, He's doing, doing it. it. This bag. For two points. Because it's uh, one bunny, two mice, and then this building can be anything. So that will be the last crafting piece I need. So I will score two points. The <laughs> last crafting piece he needs. Oh, so it's like he assembled Exodia. <laughs> yep. So I get to craft a bag. The Death Star uh, is complete. Then... <laughs> so this is gone. All right. So I certainly hope cards. the table is afraid of moles Crafted. now. I hope so. Uh, oh, this is at the start of evening, so I can't. You can't I can't draw. use. I can't use it the turn that I get it. Um, so I will just draw cards. Yes, the downsides of evening crafting: you don't get to use the, the effects on your same turn as often nice because that's on data and so. Yep. Both of those are like. That would be a funny like. I, I interrupt this program to bring you a battle against the vagabond anyway. <laughs> okay. Uh, speaking of battles. Um... Is anyone else agreeing that something needs to be done about moles? Oh, good. If I've got a plan to Here we take go. care of moles in my next turn and do something about them. Uh, so if the you, obligatory if you, two turns alone, too late, we have a mole problem conversation. I, I will learn yeah, yeah, it's it's a little problem. late, but it's happening. Would it help you if I move half of them out of any clearing? <laughs> That's true. For example, three out of five it's, it's, out it's, of this one. Essentially, I've got a few battles to go on in this clearing right here, and quite a few pieces. And uh, all right, so Fremen is fixated on battling where he is, no while Battle Rager is offering all the, all the an even better battle <laughs> down in that uh, mouse corner. So that, that's my plan is to start. So I'd really like for Battle Rager to reiterate and explain that uh, with the two buildings and the. You could also, yeah, you could adv you could move over there, potentially. If there's only two modes there. Two moles and two buildings is a whole lot better than three moles and one building. It's uh, less battles, but yeah, sure. But yeah, yeah, if you want to move them out of there, but you'd move, you'd want, you'd want to move them up here, and then I wouldn't be able to move down anyway. Because of I mean, I'd move them like. No, no, you don't move them into there. <laughs> oh, no, come no, come on. Don't. Your press is not so important that it needs to. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, maybe you think about it this way. Are we taking into account our prowess recruit? We're gonna get one uh, recruit on the Warlord's turn. Where, where would you want any some of them to move? These guys will be into No, yeah, that still wouldn't do it. That'd be six to six. Hmm. Alright, I mean, I'm not sure if removing like one building is enough with all the crafted pieces they have, to be honest. With like the, uh, I think Battle Rager is 100% well, well, right. Save, save it around for a turn. I'll deal with this. Save thing. it around for a turn. Yeah, we have all the time in the oh, world. Yes, What's one round going to do? <laughs> oh, this table's so screwed. Uh, does the <laughs> Vagabond being in a clearing prevent oppress? Yes. Uh, yes. Oh, okay. yeah, it's any pieces, right? Any, any enemy pieces, so okay. the Vagabond being one yeah. of my clearing prevents me uh, from scoring points. All right. Just making sure. While I'm not going to pretend like you guys shouldn't hit me, mm -hmm. just remember everybody in the game. Sure. Just make sure you're keeping an eye on everybody, all right? Sorry, I mean, the, the, yeah. count of three, just so. saying, just putting that out that there. Is, I'm, not is, I'm not insinuating anything. I'm just saying, it, don't it tunnel not, on me. Point. I mean, this is going to be the six-hour game, isn't it? I can feel it. Soon. Yeah. Like, 
I yeah, you guys can punch me. Like I I totally understand. Like <laughs> the moles are doing solid. Yeah, uh, the moles have just been don't don't forget don't forget who's playing this game. The, mo the moles need a, ni a nice little talk into. But there is a, a COVID plot here and a COVID plot here that need taken care of in some way. So if you could do something about that plot, it would be yep. appreciated. Okay. And let's do that. So, uh, yeah, let's look at my I board. disagree with that. Um, I'm yeah. all my items because it's just four. But, um... Anti-Corvid's gonna anti-Corvid's, you know? <laughs> yes. what, what are you gonna do? P people just hate Corvid's. Just putting it out there. If he crafts it... And refuse to allow them to score. Before you even get a chance. No, it's Mole fine. sitting with, to, you know, so, four buildings on the map. Um, That's fine. That's fine. Corvids have two plots. Oh, oh, this isn't allowed. Got to stop that. <laughs> <laughs> and um, hmm. what it I really is know. a fascinating thing. Mm -hmm. Can't let Corvids win again. Happens too much. I'm using my torch for my special ability to dig out something from the discard. Uh, yeah, I don't know why it's such a phenomenon, but it is. I'm taking Are you the hammer. Arrow? Yep. Hammer. And then... Oh dear. I'm flipping a hammer to craft another hammer. Nice. Again, I don't think it was strictly I'm necessary. I think it could have been put off one more round. Um, but oh, I'm not against it. It's two points. It gets you another action. Oh, goes right back in the discard. It's good stuff. Now craft a sword. Mm. Now the only th well, the only thing we haven't really seen a lot of of uh, this vagabond look at this in the quick. Despot Infamy meta is the aiding, heavy aiding. Yeah. There's really only been one aid and one quest, and Two, where are the Tinker's four, points going to come five, from later? Seven. Okay. Seven. Yeah, I. You know, I, I'd love to yeah. see Tinker start going heavy into questing, but it's hard with, you know, those two <laughs> T quests out. Um, uh, and, like, this would be the perfect time for logistics help I, if yeah. those items hadn't been damaged by the it's Warlord, but I could, you know, a, a couple rounds ago. To regret mm -hmm. that decision, so I would really like a second T for questing purposes right now. Uh, which, obviously, I, I, I honestly would have maybe preferred the second T right now instead of that hammer, stuck here though, if I don't... is how much I would prefer that. That's a, just, yeah, like absolutely. Because um, you can still take advantage of the hammer next turn. Boots. Right, They're, you're not going to draw 14 cards this round, uh, which is the, the number yeah, remaining in the deck. The hell out of this so you, you can get the hammer next turn, you yeah. can get the T this turn and start doing the questing. I don't know what I do, I need to get out of here. So I have like two, four, six items. But maybe we can, Plus maybe we repair both the bag thing. and the boot and we do the logistics help you know quest. Um, I wouldn't hate that. I'm... That'd be pretty yeah, good too. Already... And it's convenient, you can aid me any card. Yeah. <laughs> Give me your crappiest dominance card, please. That's already happened. Oh, I see. We are at seven items with the um. I don't know who with the third hammer uh, though. <laughs> so that's an issue. Hey, one moment. Do, do, just do, say do, do. You can repair the bag. Away with all this trade stuff. I know it's nice for you, but there's still something needs to happen about that plot token. So like, I mean, go for it if you can. Okay, go. Honestly, maybe going to seven and tossing the sword wouldn't be the worst if we point. want no, uh, to lean into an aiding strategy. No one is have, low priority. I'm higher priority than the Corvids, but yeah. <laughs> Corvids can't be low priority. That's that's what I was saying. <laughs> yes, they can be. They're Corvids. <laughs> yes, I, you're, you're, you're. I know you're just table talking because you have to, but come on. Twenty points straight away if we don't like bully you a little bit right now. I if I had lords out, I would agree with you. So I'm get the lords out. He will just continue to steamroll. To Give the moles discard. Oh no! I mean, I like aiding. I just don't like aiding the moles. It's a conundrum. Two turns ago. Oh, but it gets us the bag. Oh yeah, it's hard to turn that down. Accelerated rapidly. It's hard yeah, to turn they, that down. Two points. He exhausted the hammer As we know. to aid, where he could have just exhausted the hammer to repair. You go here. That's the that's the issue with that. Well, I would have liked to have seen the hammer to repair the bag. Sure. Sword to aid, uh, and then quest. Me a I, I just, I don't like sure. that we're moving. Oh, sorry. I don't think we need to get out of there. The Lost City is where the Vagabond wants to be, and the molds don't the realistically character there. 
It's not like Warlord who's going to be like, you know, get out. Or you in his Get bed. out. You know? <laughs> this is a bomb. Get out. This is not a bomb. Okay. Then you keep the card. That's fine by me because it's... Yes, look, face. that's sort of what I'm thinking. Blown up. <laughs> Aid for bag, quest, repair other bag. That I think that would have been a solid turn. Because that's the type of efficiency you got to see try. in the Desperate Infamy meta. And I'm just sitting here. Well, you've got another two cards to have a go, we. <laughs> <laughs> like, every every action, every move matters. Yeah. You have to be hyper-efficient. Uh, this clearing has a suit, though. Just saying. Uh, Thungan, so... uh, the bomb damages yeah. three items. Anyway, so I have uh, everything done here. So evening's rest. I'm drawing one card. And that's my turn. Whole lot of nothing. Yeah, here comes the five point swing from the Corvids, too. All right, I believe this is round five, if I'm tracking correctly. Well, I mean, that's also accurate. <laughs> like, Corvids are kind of fun. I feel like that entire Vagabond turn was shaped around getting up to that rabbit clearing and dealing with that plot that just, it sort of got lost in the confusion about what to actually do to maximize the turn. Yeah, I agree. I feel like it just, the turn was shaped around the wrong focus. And yeah. because of that, it ended up being a little malformed. I, th I think there was, better ways to take that turn that would have been better focused on the real goal which is just yourself you know as vagabond you need to do your you thing uh at start of uh, that song and you need to work the, the table into your I'm thing and not your thing into the table your right. broker i believe ah. no sorry Whoa. Master engravers, master engravers. okay <laughs> i was gonna say <laughs> <laughs> you're leaving master engravers but getting rid of marine broker okay Instantly caught. Good, good, yeah. good. Good, 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 good choice. Marine broker. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, okay, so let's start a bird song. Uh, and then I will... Yeah, let's see what we can do here. I want to swap meat. Go moles again? Uh, let's do moles again. Why, yeah, uh, there we go. Why not? Hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, exactly. All Good right. Luck. Oh, well. Good luck. Uh. Oh, no. <laughs> you got the... He... Oh, my God. Give it, give it back to me. I know. I know. Pass it back. <laughs> uh, da, da, da. Do I want to give it back? Joke's on him. He gave me a dominance card. He, like, stole tea from me, and he gave me a dominance card, and he just took that <laughs> dominance card back. <laughs> oh, he gave it back to me. Shit. <laughs> all right, that's my swap meet. Uh, all right, I will move what to What a flip. good value swap meet that one was. Really value. Just really taking full advantage of the craft. Okay. Uh, let's see. This is... Yeah, so we're going to do a flip here. It's a raid. raid. For two mm. points. And then no one took the bait over here, so we're going to flip the bomb for three points. <laughs> Hey, you know what? It gets his points. Bombs get destroyed after they use, don't they? Yep. They do. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Sadly, uh, that people are going to look at the point track and think, plan, well, plan, pros plan. are definitely a problem. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah, that's why, that's sad why, because Corvids are not sad. a problem right now, on. really. That's all I'm saying. Right. Uh, okay. Then. The VP track lies. To recruit. And that guy too. yeah insolent noisemaker i was wondering how worth it that flip actually was i think like in a in a game that was a little bit nicer to crows just or not even nicer but just like ignoring them slightly more i'd have left that bomb i mean this table is so hyper focused on corvids maybe you flip it just to get the points while they're there you know Okay, that's recruit. Bird song is done. We go to daylight. Any other table where they just weren't aggressively chasing Do your plots, that. I'd leave it. That. Uh, sorry, can, you can always search the discard, right? Just asking. Yes. Yeah. Yep. You can. Yes. Yes. That's not in your notes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, first move is going to be to move these two corvids out of there. Second is to battle this mob. I swear to God, if you don't ambush him, we're back to not respect. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, uh, I'm joking. Give me one sec. 
<laughs> yeah, that one won't save the. That, that would be the second bird ambush, if 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 we ambush here. So no ambush. No, yeah, I, th I, th I didn't want you to wear the flush. What's going on? <laughs> oh. <God. laughs> uh. uh. Oh, right, battling that mob. I hate you. I <laughs> hate you so mob. much right now. I hate you so much right Why now. Why is that mob so important? I don't understand. Oh, All right, I'm gonna uh, use my third action to plot. I don't understand. Did you get a point for that mob? I just did. Yeah. Okay. Just make sure it's. All right. Well, we've hit 15 points, uh, which means we're probably gonna do a gamble this round. If not this round, then next. So a gamble is nigh. Everyone get your uh, your checkbooks ready. Yeah. <clears throat> no, I changed my mind. And I don't know if I'm allowed to provide insight into what's a good decision on this gamble. I mean, sure. But I feel like can you can you go with anybody <laughs> but the moles? Yes. <laughs> are you doing? Uh, are you doing? <laughs> Seat right, numbers or what's your split? Actions, I'm the yeah, I'm still thinking about it. It. Uh, I mean, I'm tempted to do moles versus all, but is it is it truly yeah, that dominant? Like, card. is it really moles versus anyone else? Do we think anyone think else has so. a shot? It, it, I mean, <sighs> yeah. I might be falling for it, but I just I, I we haven't yeah. seen the shift. They're curious about whether or not they should deal with the moles, but they haven't really committed to it. Agreed. Agreed. That's that's an apt way to put it. And with the crows now shooting up the point track, I feel like that's actually helping the moles more than anybody. Yeah. And the, the, the table really should just recognize, make the moles do. deal with the crows. We're going to leave the crows alone. Yeah. And, you know, until you need to. Because you can deal yeah. with the crows <laughs> at any point, to. really. <laughs> and yeah, I will. Exposure is so easy. Uh, and, and worst case scenario, you go and battle them, which you can do later. You know, like, it's, you can stop the Corvids at the end of the game, but stopping mm -hmm. the moles is such a thing. Is, is that a bird ambush? Oh, there is. Okay. Yeah. It was, the, it was, the, it was that meme ambush when I lost my, my sway mole. Unfortunately, I was going after that clearing. I was going to be enforcing it, which is why I didn't want any, like, moles in there so I could battle stuff, but <laughs> that, that's kind of not worked out for us. All right. Wait, so what happened with that bird ambush? I missed. I uh, like he I missed was something. he was informants. Uh, he was getting oh, it back. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. The exciting turn. I got to sit back for this one. <laughs> the, ladies and gentlemen, uh, <laughs> yeah. you, know, you are prepared to witness the. All uh, right, we're gonna play. We're gonna play this faction completely <laughs> correct this turn. Right. This round, it's happening. <laughs> First thing, raid. First thing. Pick, pick a mob token. I will pick. No, you don't pick a mob token. <laughs> <laughs> That, that's not part of it. Already, we've already failed. <laughs> the train's off the tracks already. <laughs> Haven't left the station. We're off the tracks. <laughs> already gone wrong. So, all right. I think, uh, so we corrected rabbits. Uh, you cannot spread. Oh, actually, sorry. You can nope. go to. This you can one. spread to the lost city, yeah. and that's it. Oh. That's if it. I can yeah. spread, do I have you to? You have to spread to the lost city. <laughs> hey, Squid Mark. Free point for you there, mate. Hey, there it is. <laughs> no, well, go sit on that. On, recruit. Yeah, make go the fight it. Make the moles fight it. You got an army. That whole false orders plot, you know, plan didn't work out with the vagabond. So go, go squat on the mob. Oh man, all the rats are almost on the board too. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I don't know. Board. There's been like three, two or three combats total that weren't. It's just been a, like not a lot of fights. Good. Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, Lily, it is the bitter mood that removes mobs, and it is very much available. Oh, he's coming in with the hits. Going wrathful. What's he coming? Uh, craft at the start one, so I will craft, and I am crafting another boot. Uh, the so soup kitchen's dream is dead, everyone. Get to draw a card oh. because of my murine broker. Jeez, four command, nice. Or command, I triple boot. Actions, I've got no yep. prowess. I can't get any warriors out. Yeah, I mean, this is, it's cool, but it, I don't, yeah, command is so much worse than prowess. So much worse. Hey, yes, you do. So. I'm worried that the warlord's going to go in and try to fight the moles in that clearing versus just sitting on the token. I, I think, I think warlord's just going to battle where they are. Just, uh, 
to I think Roller's uh, gonna just right. throw it all at that one good, citadel. So I'm, I'm, you know, you know, I can't Take a really look. accelerate much. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying wipe you off the board. Yeah, I'm just yeah. saying. Mark, you did hear that, and it is moles. Moles have Murian Broker. It would be three points. Uh, a minute ago, they had. Let's see. A minute ago, they had uh, Master, Master Engravers. Engravers. It was just pro uh, saboteured, thankfully. I need, I want some also sitting on a charm offensive. Uh, which is going to <laughs> suck. And you League of Adventurous Mice. And League of Adventurous Mice. I forgot about that again. Uh, sitting on two markets and two citadels, as you can see. So the first battle is for press. Yeah, this, we have a mobile problem. Punching them and the table is not adequately yeah, afraid of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, first action, I am battling here. Confirmed. Uh, are you playing that bird ambush? No. I'm playing this ambush. Ah, there's the mouse. <laughs> right, so you lose. Oh. Love it, love it. Are you playing that bird ambush? No, I'm playing this ambush. <laughs> yeah, the move doesn't take effect unless it's in the yeah, wall. Yeah, it's at the wall. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah. But okay so that makes things awkward <laughs> i could change my camera i can't see you the wall or this when i look straight down it's oh yeah <laughs> you could lay the warlord down <laughs> no, that's fine so second action i will battle here i will elect not to play an ambush good roll all right I'll take so it. i Hit. lose three moles Ooh. Right? Yeah, three moles. Yeah. Yep. That was okay. Yeah, and this is why I'd really like to have seen Warlord yeah, so go after so like, any other clearing, really, here, because this one's going to be so second. easy to wipe, and it's just... Uh, action was to battle there. doesn't matter much, you know? Squidmark Russ was sitting up, I think, for a pump and dump, and then he just pivoted into a straight swole. That's sort of what it looked like. Uh... God damn you having that ambush makes the math just not work. <laughs> oh, so I can move some stuff into here and t t try and attack you, but I'm losing three guys before mm. I even start. Got it. He, he can... he got it. We're, we're trying to go after Corvid. You're the mole's building. Yeah. Oh. Like, get rid of a minister. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> get, get rid of the building. That's happening. Uh, cause I okay. get well, the, yeah, he's doing that. I can get my advanced battle. Yeah, he'll just use the advance to fight that. Right. He's talking about the... Uh, Remember, you can you can move in there, punch once, and then if it doesn't go well, you can guess if you want. Mm -hmm. Squidmark, you did not miss the gamble. It is probably happening em imminently. It is probably happening on the mole's turn You'll just uh, them up and they'll into the Vagabond's turn. Because a ambush gets played, so, it, so I'll lose all, pretty much all my guys before anything happens. Uh, Depends on how many how many you send. Just, just send in a couple guys, a few guys, and I eat the ambush. Like all of them. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So if I send four, it, it, so I mean you're not. <laughs> he uh, ambushes me. It's a two and two, where he gets a plus one hit against me, and I can't take out the plot no matter what. But you could send, it, you could send one guy and then guess it. But worst you case, have, is the idea that we have to win this fight. Is that what this is? And so he's going to tell you. Why not I'm just? Not sure. Well, I'm, like, I'm not sure why any of this is I'm even being considered. Oh, I mean, if we need another clearing so badly, because like, because we're we're at that four to five threshold, so I think he's trying to get to five so clearings for a press. Just go down to the mouse clearing. You don't have to worry about embedded agents. You already have an extra dude there to help with the the eating of hits. Mm, uh, <laughs> if I was with him, I'd agree with that. But I don't know. No, we have five already, actually. 100%. He's trying to get he six? Like punch the oh, yeah. Right? Like, like, he's not. trying to get six that's clearings that's for a press. Happen. It's just when that happens. And it's, if I could, cause I could try to be a bit more devastating towards you and screw you up a little bit, but I, I'm not sure if that's a good idea. Uh, because then the Corvids are just going to go out of control. So at the moment, I'm trying to essentially weigh up who is a bigger threat to me. Is it Corvids or is it Moles? That's, what, that's, that's my internal... It's 100% Moles! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not trying to insult anybody, but this is, this is the classic Moles are, are um, being under, under feared, you know? Like, Moles are falling under the radar when they shouldn't. 
This is this is the the classic the case of molds are set up to explode and nobody's fight. doing anything about it. I lose points if I that one price it. of failure is going to help, but it's not. It'll put a guy in uh, here. You're right. It's not really solving the problem. Actually, how many guys has he got left? Are they he all has board? two. Two. So just so enough to would. just enough to yeah, mess just enough to screw me. you over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Uh, nah. So think, why 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 do my turns always end up like this? Why can't I have nice simple turns? <laughs> Things were so much better when mobs spread differently. I can't remember the word now. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you hit me too hard, I won't be able to help you punch Corvids, <clears throat> who will be at oh. like 19. <laughs> if you punch me, I can't help punch Corvids. Oh, Lord. But yeah, like I think a hundred percent you break the citadel. Like that's that's like a that, no-brainer. That's happening. If you don't then you're self-sabotaging. Yes, <laughs> yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Uh which out of interest, when that happens, are you gonna tell us which one you're getting rid of? Uh which um, minister? You'll see which one dies. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll I was lose... wondering if you're going in to tell me right now. Oh, which one I would lose? Yeah. Um probably the mayor, if I had to be honest. Makes sense. Yeah. All right, chat. The chat's getting into the classic, uh, which is worse, press of failure versus fear of the faithful. Um, I, I, I really don't think it's much of a debate. On paper, devoid of all context, price of failure is, of course, worse because you're losing more. I think in context of the way both factions, you know, are affected by the, the punitive oh, no, mechanism. No, 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 Fear of the faithful is so much worse for lizards <laughs> than price of failure is for most. So much worse so in context of their game plan. Oh, we, uh, we've oh, sort we, of been going back and forth. It's the exciting to, uh, yeah, Lord of the Hundreds turn. <laughs> it's the fact that we don't know what we're doing. That, he's that's he's trying to decide what he's doing. So he's okay. got like two, what, a, what is it? Like two commands. <laughs> it's been decided. Oh, uh, move de these to here. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. I just meant like, I, <laughs> I think it's fairly clear from that perspective. Uh, we'll, we'll have to wait for him to come back. Um, that said, I do like this version of what Warlord is doing more than the version where he went after the plot token. I like this version more. I guess that's less risky and you'll score more points, but... But still missing the complete point of the matter here is the moles. I'm going to tell you to go fight here, but like... Right. I mean, that's... Yeah, that... The good news is the the plan seems to be that we use the advance on that Citadel. So at least the Citadel is going. I would have liked to have seen more, but realistically, we're not going to see more this turn. Yeah. There just aren't enough actions left yeah, for it to happen. If so if we're going to do this, dies, don't go after the plot token. Go after the two warriors, get your press up, do the safer battle. This, this one is just too much risk for no, for no gain. Right. So both bombs or, oh, never mind. I was going to say top rabbit. No, they, he can still put them out. No, because the bombs... They, re they return to, the, to his bag. Yeah, they, they go back to my supply. I thought bombs, uh, when they go off, that's it. They're out no. of forever. No. Nope. They only uh, leave okay. the board, so he can still put them out. Yeah, uh, Coconut Tank, it seems like it should yeah, be a variability, and it maybe should. So it like, you can... You can really see how Leader has learned no, to standardize sense. the formatting of the faction boards and abilities and stuff over time. Know. That's the point. You gotta be, like, in his head, if you're gonna try to guess. <laughs> or you could just like bomb check it and then fight him. Like I don't know. And he does it. Yeah, fancy zergling. If if moles are in the game, there's a question of what to do. The answer is pu is punch the moles. Pretty much every time. You basically you would also score two hits on him. But again, I I I, I understand that Fremen has used up enough actions that he can't really do more mole punching this turn. Other than removing that citadel, which he's going to do uh, with his advance. The uh, worst case is that that so, they, they, in this case, I think the goal one, should yeah. be to get your press up from five to six clearings. And that clearing is the more difficult one to do that in. I will confirm to that move. Aside from the fact that you need a three. Like, we haven't even talked oh. about the chances of rolling what you need. Apparently, we're not even... Uh, oh, maybe we're trying to expose and then battle? Well, I guess you need two because is it? wrathful, right? And I'm thinking... Yeah. With only, go with, two out, with only two out, it's not going to be a raid. Go with your heart. I don't think it'll be a bomb because there was nothing in that clearing and no intention. For, like, nah, don't put it past people, though. 
Uh, <laughs> Sano just sowing so much chaos into the table talk. It's like, oh, it could be this. Oh, you should do this. Oh, but what about this? <laughs> it's, I mean, it's smart. Snare or bomb. Snare or bomb. You have to pick one. <laughs> you have to pick one. <laughs> Snare and bomb. It's if it's either one. Yeah, I will guess a uh, bomb. Final decision. It's a bomb. Oh, it was a bomb. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my lord. Two for two. And you earned it. Uh, oh, two God. for two on guesses. Wheel of, uh, get and this is why you don't actually put bomb down, because people have to guess bomb, you, you know? <laughs> yeah, you Bomb's value is in existing, not in being placed, really. So I will then use my final action to battle in this clearing. Well, you, yeah, your final command action, right? My, my final yeah. command action to battle yep, in that clearing. All right. Okay, so... Uh, I thought this was overly risky, but it's paying off. The gamble worked. Uh, Not ambush. No ambush. Okay. We got a two. a two. We got a two. Yeah, All right. Two. This is pretty much the best thing that could have happened for Warlord here. Full wipe. <laughs> no one there. Because we're going to get our full six clearing of press. We're going to remove that citadel to, to hurt the moles. We hurt the corvids, which I guess was a thing that had to happen, yes, I guess. Sir. Um, so. Was me a point. No ambush. Yep. So I'm going to lose uh, the mayor, as I said. Here, I'm going to hand you the crown because you beat the mayor. So I'm going to lock that to your board. I'll, That's for you. I want it on my tiny little mouse hat. You're going to put it on the warlord? Yeah, put it All on right, the tiny little mouse And then I'm going to shuffle my hand up, and then you get to pull one card out, and it's discarded. Go for it. Ooh. Oh. Oh. All right. yeah. What was it? Oh, uh, the coffin makers. Ooh. I don't know if that that, that was might have been two, part of the plan. It might have been. Two, three, four, five, six. Four. Yeah, coconut tank. I think exposure made a lot more sense yeah, in yeah. Nick's ver first version There's of Corvids, where Corvids yeah, could spend cards for extra uh, actions. Four points, sir. A lot of points. Uh, lot. In the final version, it, it makes a lot less sense. And they five last yeah. oh, uh, Corvids in the Nyx version also yeah. got the card no matter what, even on a correct guess. <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. Uh, so that helped more, too. How much work it takes for me to turn get over. two plots flipped in a turn. I, I promise, <laughs> I promise my next turn will be quicker. <laughs> All right. I think we played that turn right. We'll see it in post, I guess. Mm. All right. Did we get four points? I didn't. I don't remember what Warlord was at, but he should have gotten four points for that oppress. He did count six clearings. Okay, cool, cool. I didn't see the point moving, but I did hear that. So I've got two actions. Warlord is going to win if he convinces stuff. them to hit mole based on this board state. No, I... I mean, Warlord's in a good spot now, but... I don't know. Yeah, I guess it's a question of who can race faster, moles or Warlord. And whether Warlord can do enough aggression to, uh, like, accelerate, to slow down Mole's race. I don't know. Yeah, it's looking pretty Warlord versus Mole right now. <clears throat> but it's certainly not good for the table that Moles are able to come into this turn okay. with five cards, uh, even after first... suffering Price of Failure. First action is going to be to battle this mob here. I mean, I've got to go for it. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have an ambush for my giant ball of moles? Take All your right. filthy, filthy point. Uh, I will. <laughs> um, so my second action is going to be... Did you take it yet before you forget? Huh? The point. I took the point. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, that, that point was important. That's the, that's the reason I did it. Um, the second action is going to be to move these two guys in there. I got to replace the ones I keep losing. Just misplacing. Really doubling them. down there. Uh, I guess it's going to be his base of operations now. <laughs> that's both actions, right? Huh? Yep. That's two actions. Yep. So that's two actions. So now I have my, uh, There's 14 points of crafting to do. My Suede Minister actions. So what would you like to see moles do here, Bop Bop? Would you like to see moles turtle up, double down on that? Or would you like to see them go out and harass the Warlord? I would like to see them go out and harass the Warlord. Mm -hmm. Because the Warlord is the one 
that's the one true threat mm -hmm. to their to their board presence. Um, and it's also preemptively sort of winning. You know, like it's like nobody can stop you if they don't exist. Yeah, I guess is another way to put it. And continuing to let the warlord build up forces around you makes it more likely that warlord's going to get some prowess and maybe be able to do a little bit more in the mouse clearing. So I think that mouse clearing is now the target, even though Lost City exists. I actually don't think I'm going to use that second action to move these two oh, guys. We're doing that. We're up. backtracking the move. I think again. I'm going to use that second action to just move. Oh. Oh. I'm just going to move a guy to here for my second action. Okay. So now I'll go on to the Suede Ministers. So I will use the Squire um, for the move. So I'm going to take three guys. On okay. I think, we're seeing, I think we're seeing a military excursion to that clearing. Right uh, and then I will use uh, Bridget to battle right here. Do you have an ambush? Yeah. Uh, he's not getting played. Okay, that's exactly <laughs> what you're supposed to say in that situation. <laughs> two and one. All right, so not the best roll for moles, so but still good. You lose the mob or the stronghold. I mean, I don't think it's going to make too much of a difference because the other one's just going to die straight after. <laughs> All right, so then I will get a point. And then I'll use the second battle to battle right here against the stronghold. Yeah. And this is one of my favorite things about the moles point. is the moles can go out and do this sort of strategic strike right. and then sway it's uh, it's such a great combination cool. yeah that's what we're gonna see because i'm i'm assuming Jeez, he's I gonna need... sway a lord Four. after this is all said and done i, am I hope so use this card to open a pass i like uh, it this one right here mm -hmm. i like that a lot mm. still got four cards for a sway and then I will sway a lord. Yeah. There it is. And it's one, two, three, four. Beautiful. Three mouse, one fox, and yep. the other one is also mouse. Okay. Wait. Three mouse. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's. Yep. It checks out. Yeah. That that clearing the middle makes it kind of interesting. <laughs> uh. So I am. Going I thought that was an excellent say... turn by the moles. Yeah, I Just uh, nice and clean, efficient. See, yeah. doing exactly what you need to do, hurting warlord a little bit, getting your Clearing lord out. The Baron. Of I think the one thing I would have liked to have seen was maybe some reinforcement of your south so mouse clearing because I feel like points. I feel like that's vulnerable, but we'll see. Which I, think... I didn't see which lord okay. that was. The Baron of Dirt. Okay. Baron of Dirt. Yeah, his market. Then... Market Lord. So I pick all my cards up. Uh, at the start of evening, I can draw a card and I think I it's time for a gamble. So I, I think we're there. And choose another player to gain a point. And I'm thinking it's going to be I can't believe a I'm gamble between seats one or two life, or seats three or four. Vagabond. Somebody write that down. <laughs> I'm I'm draw, a giving a point to the Vagabond. <laughs> Uh, now recorded on card. Twitch forever. That's recorded on Twitch forever. <laughs> forever. <laughs> um, All right, let's start this gamble train. Then I am going let's to gamble. craft. All right, everyone. Uh, saboteurs. Ooh, a saboteur craft. That's good. Uh, and this bag. And this bag. For one point. Sorry, I'm just like a bag factory. These moles only make bags, and that's it. <laughs> I hope uh, you're treating your your back as well, yeah. I am. So for the people, the gamble is: Do you believe uh, so that the win card, will go to I either uh, Corvid's or Warlord, right. or do you believe it will go to uh, either mm -hmm. Moles still, or Vagabond? Uh, you know, that's what we're looking at here. Square quite a bit in my turn. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So if you could set me no, up. No, that, so... no, you guys definitely <laughs> shouldn't do that. No. What? If you could, if you could set me up to start punching this. Square, then. Oh, see, Tim, he, he did reveal that saboteurs to sway, didn't he? Oh, I could yeah, y'all are right. But I'm thinking about it. 
Oh, Y'all are right. That's a good point. I was busy with the gamble, but I do remember him revealing a bird yeah, for the sway. <laughs> such a yes. I no, wait. Made, yeah. So. Did, did wait. he not discard uh, it then? No, he crafted it. Oh, okay. Which shouldn't have mm. happened. Wait, was it? Wait, did he really reveal with it? Yes, yeah, he, there were three mouse and a bird. Use this no, I thought it was three mouse and a fox. Was it a bird? No, it was a bird. Okay. Make my own battles a bit easier. And also punch the modes. Sway gate. Swaygate is in full effect. So I'm thinking about that right now. Scandal. That would mean that I, I'm not actively helping you crack this tough egg there, but I would be attacking the moles. Is that sufficient in your view? Oh, wait, wait, well, if you were talking Squidmark, you'll, you'll be yeah, sleeping on the stinker. So All right, well, maybe it's time to talk about it's Tinker. So really yeah, attack I, I don't think Tinker is in a bad spot. Yeah. Careful, you don't. But I do think Tinker yeah, is probably yeah. on a one to two turn clock I'm that is slower. Hundreds than me at the moment. That, uh, a, 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 a turn clock that is one to two turns slower little, than everyone else. Little, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, and that's the problem. The game is going too quickly for Vagabond right now. I gave a point. Uh, Vagabond needs things to slow down, which means a Vagabond needs to be, you know, um, fermenting, fermenting, uh, like discontent among them. Fomenting. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, like sowing chaos and causing people to get entangled. That's easy. Okay. Uh, and if that happens, I think Tinker's in a good spot. But if Warlord and Moles just keep racing, I think things are bad for Tinker room actually but the only thing that i'm seeing out of the tinker now. that i would soften yeah. that a little bit is just the fact that mm. the late game no point joke. surge isn't bags. set up already meaning right I'm just not sure with exhaust uh, either quests or uh, okay, aids yeah, um, um i think that's the real bird song that's the real struggle I'm for the vagabond i mean orders. not that you're wrong about the one to two turns slower but I think that that's, and I guess, these two why. Going they're right. two turns slower. They don't have that. Don't they they still down. need to so set that up. And skin. they have yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's the thing, though. It, like, I'm now going to spend needs... my... If you do that, I'm going to spend my entire turn just trying to clear it out so I can score rather than doing what the table needs and helping take care of this. Actually, if you take out this, that's going to slow me down again because I'll lose the Lord, which is my big scoring potential. If you kill one of my buildings... I like mean, I'll originally I used to move them here, but it also blocks you. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm happy with that. He's already blocked <laughs> there. It's fine. Yeah. No, you yeah, should put them one, two. The way three, the three, way he's four. playing, the way he's playing, you should put them here. I I, I would I want to check the thresholds really quick. So five is three points. Yeah, Rosano's what right here. One, you should be. Two, three, you should do this in a way that hurts both players. I think not in a way that that really is just hurting the one. Yeah. If you're gonna do it. Should. Yeah, I'm doing it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, and I'm glad that Battle Rager seems to be listening. I was, I was in, originally thinking about moving them here to uh, mess with the Corvids, but I think this is more. Oh, yeah, we don't need we don't need to mess with the Corvids. <laughs> Let's stop bringing that up. I don't okay. know why. Stop I've suggesting that. This table. Because well, you scored four, four points in four, five, six. Yeah. I think you got six points in one turn. So I'm yeah, still and look at how far behind I am. It's gonna take a lot of work to clear I'm those clearings. Yeah. So. Yeah. I must be I must be mistaken. I think it's because the scoring marker is white and it blends in with the track. But there is somebody behind you here. You know that, right? Yeah, but but what I'm saying is number one, number two, and then all two points, two yeah, points no behind. No plots on the board. Two points no behind. No plots. And You're right about no behind. plots. So you're uh, I want to grab those place. point markers and yeah, put them I'm in a location that more accurately represents the... where they are. <laughs> <laughs> So then the moles would be at 29. Uh, the boots for that. <laughs> um, the crows would be at 23. Using and the warlord would be at 20. To go dig for a card. And I think the vagabond. You'd put Corvids at 23 and warlord uh, at 20? It? Come on. Yeah, I think so. There we go. It's the Maybe it's card. closer than I think. I, I think I'm, I'm I... still continuing to believe that the moles are just. So I mean, I think up. I think moles currently have this locked up. Uh, if people don't do things, I think yes, yes, I think warlords in a great one second. One I think one moles one are going. I think we're on track for moles to get policed get and for warlords to then win. So I think that's looking very likely at the moment. Um, I think I mean I think corvids are behind both of those two because corvids don't have any face down plots, so they're not going to score on their turns for flipping. They can craft or something, but that's not, you know, that's paltry compared to a flip. So the end, right. and they've lost some warriors, so they're going to have to work on getting those warriors back up, getting them in place, and then plotting them. 
Those plots aren't going to be heavily defended, so people are going to go after them again. It's... Corvids are having Corvid problems where the table is terrified of them for reasons I still don't understand. <laughs> Let's shoot one of But I'm missing the t the, uh, the Tinker's turn here. I should I should focus right. on it. He accepts his death. That puts me I clearly upset you. Though, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is a tirade. Now I'm initiating a battle against the moles here. Do you have an ambush you want to play? Oh, wow, okay. So oh, Tinker not to play an ambush. <laughs> Tinker uh, taking on the task of policing himself. I'm sorry, I elect <laughs> to not play it. The people of my... The I think people's... Uh, on the one hand, this could be great for points, yeah, for, for infamy. Yeah. Uh, but on the other... Oh, so, nice. Two so, dead? Two. Uh, on the other hand, this is just... Two hits with two swords. Making things really good for the warlord. Okay. Um... I, I guess to me, it would make sense to take the tunnel. So, one token removed, right? Yep, so that's two points. And that means one for infamy, one right? Yep. And one for the... And one for the token, yep. So yeah, two points. Nice. And then uh, you also suffer a prize of failure for losing a building, right? I did not lose the, the building, I lost yeah, the tunnel. Oh, yeah, 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 okay, sorry. Oh, Just battle him because... again and lose hey, the building. Yeah, I'm, I'm attacking the building now. All right. That's another two points. That's another two points for me, right? Two Infamy points and for the Vagabond, yep. yep. Looking real oh, good for Vagabond there. Yeah. You gave a point to the Vagabond, and I'm now in dead last That was a four-point swing. You're gonna, be, you're gonna be in second. You're gonna be ob over us on your turn. He's picking one of these, and this gets this card, yep. right? Pick one of those, and I lose it. What did I lose? Oh, oh, oh no! My oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! Lucky price of failure on uh, Mole's part. Hell, man. <laughs> All right, uh, and as custom dictates, I will give you this crown. Here you go. I'll use it to um, build a little dam, as yeah. like, like the beaver I am. So. <laughs> um, right, go on. It's literally all my Ooh. items. No, two for I could. I mean, I could flip like tea or whatever. You know. <laughs> oh yeah, don't do that. So don't do that. <laughs> Stack kind of running low there. Yeah, we are and, probably going to see a reshuffle uh, this round. So that discard pile is going to go away, which is sad for Tinker. Nine items in the set. Where are the coins? Six, eight, Where are the coins? So is everyone hoarding them? Turn. No, not going to lie. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid of the Vagabond right now. <laughs> the best part about Root. Everyone's scared of everyone. <laughs> uh, all right. Starting my turn, I'm going to swap meet the moles once more. Here we go. Uh, you know, as much as I enjoy this, it's getting tiring. Look, you Although I did a throw out connection, don't throw it back in first. I threw out my uh, the card we keep trading I back know, and forth. So I, the can't, I can't even take it back from you. All right, good luck. Uh, interesting. Oh yeah, I got to give you one. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes you do. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Don't want swap meat to turn into steel meat. <laughs> you could just give that card back. Steel meat sounds weird. It does. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Uh, all right. Cool. Steel meat's a place where all people right, gather so just to um, uh, steal from each other right. all day. <laughs> not going to craft. So we'll go right into not flipping anything. Mm. Hooray. <laughs> uh, but I will recruit. Yeah, this might be ridiculous, but we're going to do it. Gonna... Oh, there goes the bird ambush. That's crazy. To recruit. I mean, if you got to do it in the right suit. You got to do it in the right suit. Um, I, I like recruiting on top of all your existing pieces. I don't like that this uh, isn't doing anything to Warlord, and... you know? Four, right. that's all my boys. Fox would okay. have been so much more effective. So that's recruit, and then because I'm just really worried, Warlord's gonna be left alone oh, after moles are policed, and then Warlord runs away with it. But we'll see. Because it would be very easy for the table to right. overdo it on policing moles right now. Like, you know, to, to wipe them from Take from the map entirely to move. and just leave no military force to bother. Action so I'm loving this move actually, as it yeah. happens right now. I think this is great on Dazzy's you part. Don't want to. 
Oh, hey, yeah, go for it. No ambush. 2-1. Solid roll. So one Corvid dies, and you get to choose whether you lose the building or the mob, which you made the right call. <laughs> okay, so that's one point for the one mob. One point Corvids. Uh, and then... So we moved and battled. Do it again. Exert for a pot, maybe. Right? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll just follow that up with my third action in battle. Yeah, I think that's worth. Okay. Yeah, and then you plot in that mouse down at the bottom. With your exert action, oh, yeah. So a threat. <laughs> okay. Um, you still are. Because you're sitting I on a hand of two cards. That's not bad. I will exert to plot. I like it. I like this turn a lot. I think that's a really good Corvid turn right there. Mm, Absolutely. Actually. Do not it's also on the edges, so if anybody wants to come and mess with that, they have to go out of their way. Exactly. Which I think is important. Yeah, I am loving the way Corvids are setting up at this moment in all of the corners. Setting up for that bird I mean, dominance. That is no. Dessert, <laughs> so I don't draw. <laughs> that's my turn. Oh, no. Right, let's watch this. Uh, this goes entirely wrong. So, yeah, so what's the... First what, one is... What is the game plan here? <laughs> They have a they have a community game plan. Plans for my turn until it actually happens. All right. Um, uh, I can't have, spread. Yeah, you have one mob here. Yeah, it yep. can't spread. All it's right. The only one, yeah. Yeah, yeah Squidmark. It has been the funniest item collection for uh, for yeah. the warlord. Just just unlucky. Yeah, yeah. yeah. His two ruins okay. were the bag and boot. Nothing. And then he's people keep looted a boot like, and crafted a boot or something place. like that. No, he didn't craft one. I don't. Read. I don't remember. Uh, well, the, yeah, the bag and the boot came from the ruins. Uh, the boot. There was a boot that was looted. Yeah. Boot. And I don't remember a second loot, but it might have been a loot. I don't remember. Completely defenseless. And you did you not to take advantage was it a, of that. I mean, did he craft that? Kaznar's saying he crafted one. Okay. Okay. Uh, choose a different mood. Keeping no, us honest. No, 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 no. Do I do it? Do I do it? Well, yes, you definitely choose a different mood. You have to. <laughs> <laughs> do I do it? Yes. Yeah. Less of a decision yeah, okay. depends on what's. So, what is the plan? Are you going after Vagabond? Or are you going after me? I'm are you nowhere going near. After... I'm nowhere near the Vagabond right now. Uh, but uh, I have. I I do have a plan. I was gonna say because if you hit me too hard, the Vagabond's gonna win. Oh, so here we go again. Be the Vagabond's go again. gonna win. So if he's hard enough. I don't think it's a lie. I think there's a world where Vagabond wins here, but it's not going to happen if the table's like, oh, the Vagabond's going to win. We got to go stop him. I mean, I guess, but you'll... But um, I think this is mostly Rostano just deflecting heat, which, you know, he needs to because he's in a very bad place right now, table-wise. The Things could go very badly for him if the world comes after him. It's weird because you... I'm just saying... There's an argument that he overextended. By setting up in the Lost City and that bunny clearing and the mouse corner. Like, that's a lot of clearings for moles. That leaves nobody to go battle people. This game is. If you ever need close. to do that, you know? You keep saying you're in last place. Well, he had, I don't know, you think it is. eight, mm -hmm. eight moles in Lost so City. Saying. And, I mean, he I moved no the, most more, of them out. He moved. No uh, to score, like, I think he moved a few of them out, uh, but he also got false ordered do that to get the other ones out. True. But he knew False Orders was a thing. It was a known entity. So... Only like one or two pieces that you could yeah, I mean, it's just... Yeah. 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 You could I still agree. Leave the moles alone here. And clean up a yeah, bunch of the this. And mess with the Warlord. Swaying and getting well, it's the Warlord's turn, so Warlord isn't going to mess with oh, the yeah. Warlord. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking pros. We've, we've, had, we've passed that part of the game. <laughs> or move in here with the Warlord. Dump a uh, mob token into here and uh, just see what happens. Uh, go go for uh, the uh, one that's stubborn. So I take. All right. It sounds like we're gonna go for the um, insight on top of somebody's strat, which uh, again, then you're only. That's maybe a good way to do things. Scoring anything. You would get three points for raising the clearing if the raise token so Yeah. If it succeeds. Yes. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Katara, I hope not. God. I've got Brig, so I could technically do four battles. I don't remember Battle Rager playing. You know what? You know what? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? It made me paranoid now. Let me check my list. I, I um. 
going to try to oh play it in a previous tournament game okay i was i was trying to understand yeah yeah no no yeah i've only got the one the one time listed in my spreadsheet not to craft yeah yeah the guitar was making me paranoid that we accidentally ended up in a situation where somebody had played two tournament games in round one and i was like no i hope not that screws everything up you can use most of them if you only want to oppress the clearing what would that be two time gate uh Double play gate. Double, double. What, would you call, what would you call that one? I don't know. I don't know either. I, mean, I, I know. I think they're coming for me, so I shouldn't say anything. But <laughs> moving to here. Um, yeah, man, grandiose, grandiose yep, is an interesting follow. choice, particularly if you're going that. there. The what's my name? The underground duchy uh, <laughs> chooses wisely not to play an ambush. Yeah. Okay. Got some uh, theatrics with the ambush. Wow. Lean what, what a failure that mole was. He didn't even take one guy with him. <laughs> All right. So then <laughs> I'm on to uh, my four normal actions. Uh, Squidmark, he doesn't have a second advance. Build. <laughs> here. That plan doesn't work without another advance. <laughs> oh right. I know it's so it's so abnormal. Three actions left. <laughs> so it'd be move, battle and battle to try and retake this clearing, I think's my uh best shot. Alright, so it looks like Warlord is elected to focus on to regaining oppress this turn. Kill um, yeah. which I think is with one. probably the right choice for racing one. purposes. A neighborhood it more clearing friendly. It doesn't I don't know. It... <laughs> Does this increase? No, because I mean, if you're just gonna race, from four to five, moles have the points lead, and you're not like curb stomping them. Ooh, you does, yes. you probably need to wipe that mole you know, clearing if you want me to at race. This point only makes me flip my bags face down and repair me. I have some repair on my turn, so I don't think. Uh... Good. <laughs> yeah, insolent noise maker. I think that would have been good. Actually really or good. battling that clearing That's a bunch really, would have yeah, been yeah, good. Yeah. No, this. That's great. I mean. <laughs> I'm just hoping that there's not enough... Yeah, I don't think the oppressed is ever going to outscore the moles in this situation. <laughs> so, first of all, I will battle the moles in that space. Uh, okay. Wow. Ooh, Good roll. What a roll. 3-0, oh, wow. They're out of there. <laughs> and then I will battle the corvids in this space. No ambush. 0-0, zero, zero, incoming. Come on, buddy, do one. No, no. just another 3-0. Oh. <laughs> wow, three 0s three in a row. Holy shit. 2-0, 3 oh, 3, oh, three oh, and just wiped everybody. <laughs> oh, Oof. nice. Thanks, everyone. Last That's pretty funny, actually. Oh, yeah, it's definitely nice plays for you, Vagabond. You didn't get punched. <laughs> I choose not to oppress. I score three whole points. And you're tied with everybody else like you were. Yeah, so like, I'm saying, I, like, yeah. like I'm saying, I'm a turn behind the rest of you. So Yeah, this is looking pretty good for moles again. I thought for sure we were going to see some sort of mole policing okay, so happen. And we saw Sway mess with a tiny bit, but... Yeah, this is this is back to looking real good for moles. Two actions. And I'm in two clearings. <laughs> hmm, let's see. Yeah, imagine those rolls in the mole bunker. Just would have wiped it. <laughs> We've got Brigadier, Marshal, and Formal. Hey. Uh, I don't think there's anything for me to saboteurs. I was about oh, to I could saboteurs that swap meet. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. But that's the most entertaining part of the game. <laughs> it is kind of funny. Um... To be honest, I'm going to saboteur that swap meet. Get that out of here. No. What? Here. Go. Leave me alone. We had such a connection. Piss off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's a pity. Seeing that swap meet go mm. with a saboteur is that shouldn't exist. So... I am going to dig. I am going to dig into Lost City. Here we go. Uh, the middle, which is fun because I can spend any card I want. Cool. 
Yep, oh, back to the Lost City. I'd like, I like having the Lost City in there. I think it's really thought, It's actually really, it's super fun, actually. I like it. Isn't it? Lost City's great. Uh, <laughs> it is. It really is. I am going to use my second action to battle that Vagabond. Yeah. Oh, okay. Do you have, is one of those two cards in ambush? Maybe, but I'm not playing it. Oh, there we <laughs> Battling go. Battling the Vagabond. What? All right, mm. so I got a two and a oh. zip. Oh. <laughs> I, I mean, damage. these dice, just the zeros keep coming. Yeah, it's yeah. a lot of zeros. Real, okay, I think. The carnage is real. Two. Four reels. So you only discard at the end of the round, right? If you, like, I can, if I don't yeah, have I enough. Yeah. yeah, I believe it's at the oh. end of your turn. Yeah. Yeah, because so it says remove item, so yeah. And let's think. <laughs> um, Maybe a hammer. Yeah. Okay. We call this when you're using bag as armor the bagabond. <laughs> you just like constantly soak hits with all the bags. It is a long-held root tra as, gaming like, tradition, like, Katari. Uh, um, he, he gets stepped, and there's like. But um, like, what's the line? <laughs> Let the past die. Kill it if you have to. Like a bag of sand. <laughs> it stops the bullet. Yeah. The, the like the one moment sword. from Last Jedi I remember. Uh, so then I have uh, my other. Well, and the actions. desperate infamy changes things for sure. I right. Mean, that's, that's obviously a big part of it. Incident Noisemaker asking if Arbiter would have been a better VB choice this game. Uh, what do you I think, uh, Bapa? Use um, my buddy. I would say no. Formal... And I and I think the reason for that is that That's I think the Tinker has the tools to exist where everyone is sort of fighting Let's and they can just I lay low. So I think the card. the Tinker has the tools. I just don't think that and those tools card, were fully so utilized in this game. With... <laughs> I, I'm right there with you. I think I think Tinker was the better choice. Uh for pretty much the reasons we're seeing. Here. You know, Tinker has got a nice little item setup going. And is hanging out in the Lost then Cities in a good position to, going to, to, you know, aid and quest and race. It's just the, uh, Marshall the game's going a little going fast. There were maybe a couple decisions that weren't perfectly optimized. Uh, the quest Ooh. RNG has not been perfect. Everyone. Uh, it's uh, it's, then, it's been outright bad, actually, the quest Mr. RNG. So I think, no. you know, you know a little bit better quests, I'm sorry. It's, uh, a little bit it's, more optimization, a little bit of a slower the, game. I think things would be looking good for the Tinker. It just... Ambushes? Uh, I mean, Tinker's not out, but Tinker's a little down at the moment. Ambush, gotcha. Yeah. Two one. So I lose one mole, and you take That's two damage. That's not my defenders on last to score hit. And I don't remember if the moles had <laughs> had been aided. No, I know they did once. Yeah, they did one so mole. I think aid. they've only gotten they've only gotten two aid points, which um, I think you need you need more than that for sure. For sure. Like for so. sure. And you lost one warrior, right? Yes, I took him away. And I only get information. Uh, chat noticing the bird dom was just discarded, which means and, uh, the dream so of the Corvid bird dom is now a possibility. As you can imagine, is against the Vagabond again. Okay. This is oh, a wow. Okay. wow, what is with this? There's that three, there's that zero, oh, get on. Oh my. The dice uh, are stuck on three zero. Uh, they really are. Um, all right, I think that I imagine you're just that might just be game end for Tinker. Oh, I don't know yet. I'm thinking about the one it. upside of all this is going to the forest is going to come back and refresh all those items, which means Tinker's going to come out uh, like ready to go. And then the third one. But I think I guess I'm leaving the. I think for, like, I think that would only be good to do that. if the but game were to slow see. down some more. So you like Tinker would need a couple more turns to take advantage of that. <laughs> I think zero. zero. Oh, these rolls today. Yeah, rolls on point. And then I'm going to I mean, they could certainly score 13 points on their last turn. I'm not alone. Like we've already said, though, I'm not I'm sure they're set up guys. for that. I'm yeah, not. like they, they just, they they're not set up. They don't have up. the coins. Yeah, they need the coins. They've got one T to quest with. I really would have but, liked to have seen Tinker craft that T on the turn where they crafted that hammer, you know? Yeah. I think yep. things would be so different right now if that were the case. What, what is happening okay. right now? That's been my and observation with the Despot Infamy two. is that T matters so much early yeah, game. So much. So much. It's why out. Thief has been so good with Despot Infamy. Yeah. And so so many are talking about how they won't oh, even God. pick Bagbond if they don't have T in their hands. Oh, God. I'm left with... And I think that's valid. Who do I give a yeah. I, think, I think that's a perfectly reasonable uh, thing to, uh, to feel. I don't think I'm going to give any... Oh. Katara, I don't think that attack was necessary at all. Like, I'm not... No, no. I'm not an advocate of, like, you know, policing the Corvids for no reason, but I think 
<laughs> you could have tossed the battle at the Corvids just the to you know spread out the the damage. Because you've got, uh, so you could you could score three, and then whatever you got in your hand over there, buddy, it must be good. Yeah, Squidmark. I'd take Vagrant. I'd take Thief. I think Harrier is still good. I think Adventurer is good. You can predict. I like Adventurer more than Tinker probably, but I think Tinker is good too. I mean, I think there are good vagabonds with stuff desperate in for me. It just you gotta have the hand for it, and the game has to go is like four correctly. Yeah, the meta has to uh, shift for you too. Yeah, like I think we've seen some undue vagabond aggression this game, like that early battle by the Warlord. Um. What are you gonna do on your turn? No, that could have been directed toward moles what's, and what's wasn't. The game plan on your turn. Game plan on my turn is to try to secure up my uh, clearings that I've got uh, no other units in, so uh, I can try to at least get my five, my four points a turn. Because there's nothing, nothing for me to really start taking out. There's no undefended bits of cardboard for me to score the extra. So my my game plan is to start securing my position. Rosano's really working, Freeman. Yeah, I think we're past, the, we're past the point of securing your position. Like, we're at the point of policing people give to deny <laughs> wins. Point to draw a it, I mean, moles are in the lead. That seemed painful. And they just reestablish themselves in a great way. Like, it was your true. next turn should not be, you know, reestablishing yourself. Your next turn is, all right, the moles are a problem again. We'll I need to go hit we'll them again, you know? Happens and that's why I would have yeah. liked the, the incite play last turn uh, if he so just that was rolled in and incited on top of the mole base. Um, because that's not what that would have been doing. It would have been freeing up his next turn to then go do other things because he set up the incite on the previous turn and his policing yep. would be done. Yeah. Uh, and that's going to spend a lot of the <laughs> mole's energy dealing with that. Yeah. And then I will draw cards, and that will be the end. Yeah, I think that's it. Mm. We already had that question before. You, The cards you spend to remove these uh, path things don't need to match any clearing, right? They don't need to match anything. That's so weird. Okay. Yeah, it's like the only, I think that's the only thing in the game that's like that. Okay, I just start by refreshing five items. So hammer one, hammer two, hammer three. Oh my god. Uh, Are we not going to go to the forest? Well, I do have to discard um, cards. I don't know oh, if yeah. you guys care, but uh, I'll do that before you take... Because I guess there's technically yeah, cards in the discard pile. So Mr. Vagabond, if you want to, uh, if you want to get that card, look at it. It's so oh. good. Um, oh yeah, the, this card. Okay, <laughs> um, maybe not it's the top. It's game. very good. Um, yeah, that's and then this is odd. Why not just go to the forest? The vagabond. The meme. The living legend. The soup kitchens. <laughs> I mean, maybe I can find some tokens I can put on the board. <laughs> <laughs> like my, my, my stand onto the clearing floor. <laughs> Um, that's three items flipped phase up. Mm hmm. Mm. Sorry, still thinking. There's no. Hmm. There's like no cardboard to punch anywhere. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. So if I do a repair chain, I only have one hammer left at the end. I'm really surprised he's thinking about this that uh, hard. Maybe it's best to just take... I mean, with three hammers, there's always that but temptation yeah, probably the last chance to, to, like, do you know, do your, your triple, re your triple repair something. chain, like, repair the hammer, repair the hammer, and then repair something else. Maybe. And then you roll that into a thing next turn, and the next... But <laughs> I agree. Just go to the forest and come out, you know, ready and raring to go. With a plan. With a plan. Quick. Let the table deal with mm. themselves. Do you do you have any quests that are just bags? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Squidmark no asking who we think. I don't think so. No. Is um, gonna win. What are you thinking, Bot Bot? But basically, all the cards are back. I still think it's gonna be the moles. So. Yeah, it's I hard to argue against that. I think Rosano's yeah. really played the warlord well like really getting into his head so kind of you yeah. know asking him what what's he going to do on his turn using that as information how are you going to deal with corvids how are you going to deal yeah. with vagabond so i'm just <clears throat> flipping 
to. So I mean, uh, I think that's my reason for moles, really not just because they're positionally in because no, place. Um, that above question. the table play has been really strong from mm -hmm. Russ. Yeah. Yeah, I think the above the table play has been really strong. I think the on the table play has been strong. I think uh, moles are currently in the leading position, and it sounds like, based on the table talk, Warlord's not going to do something about it. Yeah. Um, I mean, this. I, I think this looks like a mole win currently. I don't think it's a guaranteed mole win. I think there's a world where this comes out for Corvid or Warlord. Um, and I'm skipping my if if Warlord does something about the moles night. and uh, it it plays out a little differently, yeah, but I don't know if we're gonna see that. Uh, do you also flip everything? I forgot. Or is it just repairing? I mean, it doesn't really matter. It gets flipped when it gets repaired. What, does it say repair and refresh? It's, it gets refreshed when it gets repaired. I'm quite sure. That okay. is correct. It says repair all items. So I yeah I I, I guess I don't know. I mean, you see here it says repair items What's... do not refresh. So I'll just I'll what? just go check. Really? Hey, hey, oh. uh, can we have a can we have a ruling on that? I'm not exactly sure how that goes. Uh, they are refreshed, and that's just because the board is basically wrong. Okay. Well, uh, okay. Cool. Well, the, the board is basically saying that if you repair it with a hammer, <laughs> it doesn't automatically get refreshed. Yeah. yeah if you go into it, the forest, they all get refreshed. So they're like the second delay, like the like. What it is delay. is uh, evening's rest. Oh no, the board's wrong. Is the evening's rest? Okay. Used I mean, to be correct when repair always refreshed the item back in first and second printing. Keep, yeah. And then they mm. changed that, but they didn't update Evening's Rest when they printed a new Vagabond board. They just left it. And so basically, it. Evening's Rest is wrong now. But right at zero point ten. You know, it's, wow. it's funky. It is. You might miss the swap meet, but if it gets back to me, it's coming the other way. <laughs> <laughs> I would expect nothing less. No, uh, all right. <laughs> but yeah, um, uh, all let's right. get back in. Start of my turn. Uh, there we go. Uh, yeah, Vagabond went to the forest, and I think that was the better version yeah, of that I turn. Have, yeah, I, I like to see it. I will craft using my... Uh, Ooh, there, there it is. T craft. The other T. Good for Corvids. Two points. Very solid. That's what we need to see, stuff like that. Thungan, it is correct in the law. Flip. This is an extort for three more points. Two, three... Because uh, what it is is repair. The action was changed, but all right, recruit. Um, uh, evening's rest was not changed. You have three quarters. So that's why it's now wrong because they changed how repair works. But they didn't change how evening's rest works. And I don't think it's worth to recruit there. Am I? Is there always only? Yeah, I guess so. Jeez, shows how much I know root. There's always only three rabbit clearings, yeah? Or no, does the There's city four? replace that one? Usually four the city replaces like the fourth. Okay, yeah. okay. It's kind of, that's, that's where you get the trade-off on this map. for Yeah. Yeah, okay. so currently um, Bunny is the, is the clearing well, suit that gets the standard recruit of four rather than the well, bonus recruit of I mean, five. It's still not worth because right. it's still four, right? Because it also yeah. can't like rabbit, so yeah. yeah. Weird. Trade upgrade. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh... Yeah, I will not recruit at the moment. No recruit. Okay. Interesting. Oh, more actions here. Only three left in supply, so I kind of get it. And only one card in hand after that craft. I mean, the the warriors aren't exactly in the right places, I don't think. Uh, but that. yeah, I mean, you've, if you're and you've got this many out, maybe you don't need that recruit. That. Uh... Oh, that's kind of nice, actually. Hmm. Where is the tinker right now? Right there. Okay. <laughs> Always know where the tinker is. Always. Uh, okay, I'm 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 making, right next to the lost city. We'll put you in sort of like the green part of the woods so everyone can see you. I, I was supposed to go into a forest, so that makes sense. Yeah. Now I want to see the Vagabond tokens, to go here? but... Like with camo patterns. I think that counts as a just like as a joke for yeah. <laughs> not being able to see them. <laughs> We're gonna do. All right, I'll be right back. Okay. So Squidmark asking the question: Can Corvids get seven points across the next two turns? This turn and the next. I think there's a world where it happens. 
I think it's a tough one. It basically requires the table to be in a different headspace than they currently are, I think. I think they need to be afraid of moles I'm and warlord. Do all three. And I think the two players need to be aware of that. And I think no. um, uh, we basically have to get a couple points this turn and set up for next turn. And that's a lot to do. Because there's really no more points on the map to get. That one's going to be... We got our craft already. So all we can really do is a, is a plot. Oh, um, you! I totally forgot. You crafted a T. Yes. So that means I get a card. Oh, yeah, you get a card. Good call. Thank you. Good catch. I appreciate uh, that. And then I will... Hey, Darth Let's Caboose. All right. Yeah, we were just talking about if Corvids have any real yeah. shot here, and it's... Going to play. I mean, it's a maybe, but it's dire. Trallet asking if holding that's the T for last round would have been better then instead then of crafting it this turn. I think that's a very good point. Uh, I think that's a very solid point, actually. Moles could have crafted yeah, it, though, was the issue. Draw less heat. But yeah, shading your points a little bit would have been a... It, it would have... Played there, but... It would have been a risk, because someone else could have crafted it. But that point shading would have gone a long way toward helping your uh, you're not gonna win, sir. position, I think. <laughs> um, no, they held it. Okay. Okay. Because it was again the choice was against you here. I think they played. They spent the bird ambush to recruit at some point. Did? Uh, hmm, I don't know. I know they didn't play the ambush. Yeah, they did not. They discarded it, it for a recruit. I don't know if I was paying attention. I think I think uh, they spent it for a recruit and said this seems crazy or like. Uh, maybe something like not worth you it. You remember it all. Uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, first of all, I roll the raise dice. The raise dice says... Fox. Uh, the only, the only face on the map dies. Nowhere. Wow. <laughs> what does this uh, mat do? It rolls Fox. Yes, it so, does. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for Did changing the code. they mod it to take out the sound? I feel like there was a, a Mario Kart... Loot box. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh, like when you uh <laughs> be controversial. Yeah, yeah, that would be, that would be... <laughs> yes. If you want that sound, you can go get it from the Steam Workshop. It is publicly available. I just I value my sanity. I'm sorry. Uh did you recruit already? Because I've I've yeah, yeah, yeah put yes, one, yes. two, and three. That's all I you just that's how you move Maybe that should be the poll. That's, that's what we should gamble on. Yeah. <laughs> Deciding on what things. what people really think about the mob Mario Kart jingle. Move battle. Move and battle. Kaznar, sanity might be overrated, but it's also all I've got. Well, you've got train games. Like I said, sanity is all I've got. <laughs> you don't have trade games anymore? <laughs> no, we have trade <laughs> games. You lost the trade <laughs> games. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, well, for no points. No, I can choose to take the points instead, Connor. Oh, can you? Yes, you can. Yeah, Contempt for oh, trade. Yeah. You can either get the points oh, no. or the coins. Yeah, it says score, notice the points, or remove it to score them. So, it's, oh, so yeah, you'd, have, you'd have to throw so, the coin away so the to coin, score. So I'm taking the gold and I'm burning it. Yep. And yeah. I get a card <laughs> because of the broker. Nice. Yep. That is a great craft for Warlord, sure. actually. That's exactly the sort of thing we and need to see just goes uh, if, if we are going to see a Warlord win. We, we, we needed to see, late. Yeah, we needed to see something um, like that. Yeah. Oh, Deleted. Oh. <laughs> Not going back. Ouch. Yeah, you can't go back after that. Yeah. Like those board games where you tear up the card after you use it. Oh, like a legacy game? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the uh, the law of root says that you need to take out some scissors root and cut up your coins like after you after back. you do so this. Destroy the pieces <laughs> when they're when they die. <sighs> right now they have four clearings to oppress. They have a coin plot available and they have a mole problem just looking at that going animal that problem. An ambush waiting to happen there's an ambush happening there <laughs> that is an ambush <laughs> um it does. i don't know if he has it i don't know 
No comment. Contempt for disdain. <laughs> You're supposed <laughs> to say that you cannot from North Carolina the existence of the name. That's great. Oh, I'm sorry. I can either confirm nor deny the existence of an ambush. There we go. Good. That's correct. So instead. Move. So Squidmark asking whether you punch moles and potentially open the door for crows to win, or do you gamble here and wait for your next turn oh, this is for a guaranteed so win? So bloody unnerving. Um, I think the problem is, uh, I don't know how if people if chat heard this, but Easy moles to swayed a banker. If you want, but that's you can guess it wrong. Uh, so a ten point yeah, swing is very is attainable guess what this for is. moles here. I've been very good at my guessing so far, mm -hmm. but. Uh, <laughs> Why do they have seven cards? Because oh, he has um, uh, Murian Broker, well, and people have been crafting items. Oh. Yep. Uh, oh. this, th now, this is why I talk myself around in loops and loops and loops. I love that so, play of have having have both Master board, Engravers yeah. and right. Marine Broker, so, yeah. and then so, the Master Engravers is the one that takes... It can't be an extortion. Takes your... Uh, snare, again, I'm not sure if It's I taken by sabote saboteurs. Bomb. Yeah. Keep putting bombs down, expecting it not to be bombs, but it, we've, we've guessed bombs so often that it can't be a bomb anymore. I would <laughs> never discount the bomb. Uh, that raid's just been sat there, and he yeah. knows that people are going to want to start taking him out, so raid makes a lot of sense to me. So <laughs> I'm going to guess it's a raid. Amanda Applesauce, <laughs> Warlord is indeed focusing on Corvid again. Which? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, and he got that's right three into three. He got right into Dazzy's head. Oh, that's tragic for Dazzy. Forget your cards. Yeah. That is tragic. Yeah. My See, I would have guessed bomb again because that's what I would have done. <laughs> I would have keep doing that. Every it would have been. Guess has been it would have been. Uh, I mean, in fairness to Warlord, like Corvids were sitting on a win across their two plots yeah. there. Yeah. Absolutely. So in fairness. Uh, that said, there were other ways to deny that win. Two move. Besides that, like doing this. Three to battle in this clearing. This also does it. No ambush. Okay. Uh, plot comes off. I score a point. But um, this is in fact how Warlord wins: oh, is picking up points it was, via it was, exposure it and stuff. One, so it's up. It yeah, sorry. Yeah, I it's forgot fine. it was already flipped. Yeah. I've got was there a loot potential there? There was a loot potential there. We could have gotten a prowess. One, two, three. No, remember they have contempt Five. for prowess. <laughs> no, we could have got, we could have looted. <laughs> this guy up here, and then with my, oh, the I take it back. I, uh, Ruler can't win. Oh, wow. These four into here. And oh, this is. See, this is wrong. This is oh, wrong. It was poor Corvids. I score plus one. This hit. is why Corvids don't win, because people overhate the Corvids. What is with these dice? Three no, there are other reasons, oh but this God. doesn't help. So I'm actually <laughs> on low two in like yeah. So a I lot lose of three, you lose four. Yep. Wow. But do you loot? <laughs> no. And I score a point. That's not cool. Then uh, go to. Evening in sight. I mean, oh, we're sitting yeah. on six clearings, so Warlord gets no. five points. No, four points. Six is four. Uh, yeah, six is four. Score How many points. clearings? One, two, six. three, four, One, two, three, five, six. Four. Yep, so four, four points. points. Yeah. Puts yeah. us at 28. Guaranteed points. Warlord win next turn. One, two, three, and four. Oh boy! <laughs> oh yeah, just just ignore me. I'm in last place the whole I, time. I'm in last place. <laughs> You're two. Uh, chat. I think he just lost one that oh, he shouldn't he have lost. So is what it comes down to. All right. There were how many Corvids there? Two, one. Swap. There were two. There were two. So uh, it should have only lost That's two rats, but he removed three. Um. So I am going to look into my friend, the Corvid's hand. My goodness, the Corvid hate here. I want you to um, shuffle them up. How do you, how do you... Uh, if you hit R on top of it. That to select it? There we go. There you go. Uh, like, pull them out so they're like all out here. Yeah, we saw no mole bashing. Which card do you not want me to take? <laughs> Rosado. <laughs> Rosado, look at them. Mm, the left. Uh, yeah, we saw no real mole policing that round. Yeah. 
which is just exactly how moles win, you know? Yeah. Okay. When you don't police somebody, yeah. they tend to win. But we'll see. Uh, they do have to make a 10-point burst. That's that not a guaranteed... It. Mm -hmm. But we're going to... Uh, it sounds uh, like you might have it. But it's yeah, not a guaranteed. We'll anyway. see. Um, so... It really doesn't matter. I'll give you this card. Here you go. Sure. Now, did we determine so... whether or not he had kept that bird that he shouldn't have kept earlier? He kept the saboteurs. Uh, he crafted it and he used it to get rid of the Corvid swap meat. Um, okay. Not necessarily like I mean, if we get you know game deciding or anything. Clearings. Uh, uh, but point. but not great. And there's like no, it is what it is though. Uh, there's like, there's like it's no, far from the first you know mistake that somebody's made. Yeah, yeah. I may have. I'm doing the math right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, if Warlord would win this, think about how Warlord. Uh, Put out all those extra mobs at some point. At one point, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exponential mobs. Exponential. That's the word I was looking for earlier. I have won the game. It's part of the tournament. People, uh, uh, people got to learn how to play root. Uh, don't forget to carry the one. And then you got to learn it. Yeah, I was gonna Can't say, depend on digital. Uh, let's, actually play, let's actually yeah. play root. So I get two guys. Twenty-nine games of mistakes. That's I get right. Two guys there. I'll start calling it the mistake I tournament. Move all of these. Uh, I have to build. Ooh, it's interesting. Oh no, it. I don't think it matters. So I can build later. I don't have to use an action. So I'm gonna move here. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I'm gonna part. battle the Corvid. So like, do you have an ambush? I would love to play a super ambush, but I do not have one right now. Okay, so. so... No What's a super ambush? It's double, obviously. Come on. Oh, shit, four? All right, so, <laughs> obviously, yeah. it's double. So I lose a guy, and you lose both. Yes, I do. So I score one point. Brings me to 22. Uh, and then... So let's see. That was my one action. I moved. Then I'll move back. Well, you moved in battle. My second action. Sorry, this guy doesn't get to come with me. Um, so battle, go right? to... Sorry. That was your second action to. Yeah. So my. Oh, actually. Yeah. You my se... my first battle. action was to move. And then second, action yeah. was <laughs> second action was battle. Oh, the warlord could have gotten so to twenty nine with uh with a path. They could have. Yeah, I saw that. I mean, it's me. So I move back. I think the biggest issue with not doing that is that it opens up that point for someone else. I don't think warlord needed it for himself, uh, yeah. but I think he needed to deny it from so the rest of the table. Doesn't matter what it is. Right into the middle. All right, hmm. so we've used Marshall and Formal. And we have Bridget and Banker. See, I will use... Set up a Sway and, and Banker. Any number of cards that match to score equivalent victory points. Oh, then you use the Banker again. And would you look at this fucking draw? What the... Right. Whoa! <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. And then, so I discard and then, these. Yep. And then he got the card he needed from me. And then swap the swap, the meme swap it meet at the end. Him coins. It betrayed uh. you because I am going to craft a coin. Yep. At the end. Oh my goodness. And that's it. Mate, in that my hand was the exact one, same plan two. to win. Uh. <laughs> coins. Wow. Uh. Uh. GG to, to the moles. Good game. Good, game. <laughs> Good one, guys. Good one. Man, some See, that was seat guesses. three. I yeah, I was going to say. Yes, paid you out. One point with your guesswork. <laughs> Paying out. There we go. Four of your points were guesses. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how many I got. That was 78% of the bet with five people betting 8.2k yeah. coins oh, versus four people's 2.3k coins. And then getting it swapped me to the next turn was very yeah. fun. <laughs> Yeah, he swap meeted the first swap meet he did. He picked. Yeah, Moles kept it close to the chest and flew and under like, the radar. Oh, shit, Just I lost yep. my tea. So I while fair that, like, some heavy table talking to manipulate the table. The like, like that's not that's not uh, like ignore that. That was a big part of the game too. Yeah, and Absolutely. You, I have two I coins think, in hand. Yeah. Did you give it away because you didn't recruit? That was a great game. It was. It was really, really intense and tight. It was. That's what I figured. But then I like I drew. Poor Corvids. I it would be so much hate against the Corvids. I had 
like yeah. I drew three cards. Ending at the the cursed twenty three deal, but that they always end at. <laughs> so it was good. Yeah, it's yeah. that it's that number every time. I'm wondering <laughs> if, where the final. All right, let me uh, let me hop in there and it's congratulate them and oh, shut oh, this oh, down. Oh, it's it's uh, taking they, so they, long that I'm wondering if I like cheated. I'm like no no we were just we were just talking. Uh, good game everyone. Thank you so much for playing. That was great. And congratulations to Rosano for the win. Sorry to keep you waiting. <laughs> yeah, great game. I was sitting here like, oh god, am I not know, counting? He, he, no, no, you're fine. I was just I was chatting with Botbot. Bot. I was paying the people for their bet. I yep. Sorry about that. But thank you everyone for playing. That was great. Um, good game, everybody. That was a great game. Yeah. I really enjoyed. That. Yeah, that was a lot of fun to watch. Great thank game. You. Oh, we're getting double Bot Bot. Let me fix that real quick. Are we allowed to watch the stream now and see how badly our voices translate? <laughs> you now are allowed to watch the stream. Uh, I allow it. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you everyone for playing. Thank you, BotBot, Bot, for commentating with me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, thank you everyone for watching. We will see all of you players in round two, and we will see all of you viewers later tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern time for our next game today, uh, game 30. We're wrapping up round one, folks. It's almost there. So, um, yeah, thanks, everyone. Catch you later.